Let's go! It's been a long time. It's been a long road. It's been a long time for us. But not for you all. It's been a long time. Session. 20. 20! A new beginning, too. We started playing last year. I think so. Around this time. Yeah, start playing last year. 10,000 years ago. A whole year. 10,000. Well, 10,000 years ago. Um, where we're going to pick up here after we do intros. Actually, this is do intros. Kizva uh, uh, <laughs> on campaign on Twitter, NHP underscore heartbreak on TikTok. Um, and I think our question of the day is what is a lie your character tells themselves? And I think that Akizva lies to himself about his uh, lack of qualifications. I think he constantly lies and says he is less qualified at things than he maybe is and relies on heartbreak for a lot of that. But now that's not uh, a thing that he can do. So maybe he's going to have to, he's either going to have to sink or swim or get more comfortable with his own abilities as opposed to just being a, a rubber stamp and legal guardian for a uh, unknowable thing. So lying, not imposter syndrome, but like... Yeah, the opposite. Incompet incompetence imposter syndrome. 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 Like, yeah, he's, he's yeah. yeah. He yeah, believes yeah. he's yeah. incompetent at everything. <laughs> Um, uh, Siege. yeah, I am, I am Siege playing Big Buso at Siegefault on Twitter, which is a sinking ship, but we're having fun with it. Um, and, uh, I'm trying to think what the hell Big Buso would tell himself that's, like, a lie. That you're actually punk. Oh, no. You're actually punk. He, that's, <laughs> that is a deep philosophical conversation. I'm not getting into that. Um, he would probably... He would probably tell himself that he's like over Anayasha's uh, death and that that is perfectly okay and this whole situation can move on because mm -hmm. yeah this this whole situation has kind of gotten progressively worse since he showed up and it feels like there's a very there's a very big hole and he's not sure what can like fill it to make this situation right again. Like, even if everything else is handled, Anayash was kind of the, the main contact with Tice, and it's like, well, Tice is gone now, and she's gone now. Me, Tice. Yeah, the campaign's like a, it's like the opposite of like a, 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 a frabble or a bell curve. It's like the bottom bell curve, so it was, it was okay, and then it got bad. Like, Hopefully. Like, okay, okay, instead of like, it was great. Um... Uh, yeah, uh, I'm Clara. I play Riho and Bubblegum Titan on the interwebs. Um, we're gonna we're, okay. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna push the push the romance. Uh, Riho is convinced that she is just using Katra to like boost her own persona on the stage. She is convinced that she is using Katra as like a tool at this point. Um, you would use her as a tool. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep, that's it. We will discuss it she no tried, further. She tried to use Buzo. <laughs> Buzo wasn't about that life. <laughs> um, hey, my name's Ryan. Uh, I'm at even more Ryan's on Twitter. If you want to hit me up, hey, you know what? I'll do your voice acting for you, maybe. Um, <laughs> yes. Rico, yeah. um, did you, did you the lie that he tells himself is that if he just finishes this one more mission, things can go back to normal, I think. That's, I think, what he keeps telling himself. Like, all this, all these missions that he's doing. Every, every time they're going out for, like, a mission, he keeps telling himself, we can just do this one more thing, then we can go, I can go back to my regular life where I just build cool machines. And I think we all know that's not really going to work. Mm -mm. <laughs> got you. I don't think so. I think, I think in the last episode, we, uh, you got hunted. By yes. Like, Narrowly so escaped. Like Capture. They came for and they are now yeah. still tracking him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they're still around somewhere. They came through like a it's not good or some shit. Like a it's a bad time. It was like a Sunzi type deal. 
Very cool, very cool. Alrighty. Well, yeah. GM Shaka, Trey, and Uqua Station Twitter. Stangy. Um, yeah. So, where you guys left off was we just finished downtime after you all and uh, your, your compatriot, your former ally or current ally that's not here with us in today anymore, Shea, helped you out, helped you defeat uh, old Colt Khan in the aftermath. We lost, well, the keys were lost to old NHP hard to break. To take over the city and rebuild it back to better and teach Colt Khan how to be a better NHP, a non crazy NHP. And then uh, you all, uh, or you arrived out, you or came out of the, uh, the, the chasms of Tavoti City, you saw a fleet of an armada of uh, um, the tight Carib Systems Defense Security that have arrived on planet to help evacuate some of the uh, personnel that were the citizens of the city that were stuck under, under the city, and also strategize with you all um, about what to do next. Do you guys remember? what you had yeah I, I think that king emmanuel oh, oh can you keep it, be... i think that king emmanuel jimenez wanted to meet with his daughter and we were going to facilitate that but we were going to make them do it in yakto's dagger so that they would see what's up oh yeah mm -hmm. correct yes yes that was a big uh yeah, transition you all to the So yes, you are at Shibodi City, and you are facilitating. I was just wondering if you think I should close it. Of sorts, at Yakto's Dagger. Oh, let's actually go ahead and rename that. Okay. To potential summit. There we go. Big on. Oh wait, I get rid of that. Alrighty. The former location of the big old boom boom, the breaking of the houses, is now. Um, um, being fitted and scoped out for a fitting summit, but it will take time to do that. Um, it will take time to gather the necessary parties, secure the area. It was only two weeks ago, or ish weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago at this point, that it was. It went boom, boom, bang, bang. It went all up and then in explosions. So it takes time to get it get it back ready to work. Um, do, 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 do. Let me see. You guys had any? Did you guys? Did you guys do anything else? <clears throat> I don't know if you guys do anything. Um, uh, we retrieved the Manaka. We yes. Um, yeah, did that. Yeah, we did that. We repaired our stuff. I guess we, I don't. We know. convinced Mfakane not to intervene. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, not to go ham. Yeah, they're gonna go ham. And I'm looking for Antonio. That's true. We met with the new technically leadership of Tice. Antonio. Uh, and. <clears throat> That's all I can really who remember. Who, who, who? Uh, Adriana? Uh, there was, um, there was, uh, you met with, uh, I thought we met with Cisco and some other people. Name. And we met with the, the commander from Mkane. Yeah, you met with, yeah, you met with Becca, who was the commander of Mkane. You met with Adrina, who was the big person over DSEC, and they are also back with you all. Um, and you chatted with Benjamin Cisco, but I can't remember where that went. It was mainly Adrena that was uh, helping you all out. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, so where do you where do you what do you think you guys are? You guys are in Chiboti City, I guess. Uh, Akiza, where do you, where are you right now? Kind of in the midst of, well, I guess, let me set the stage. There's uh, ships still leaving Chiboti City. There's a bit of reconstruction work happening. We'll say at least in the last session that we had, at least three or four days have passed. So that a lot of people have gotten the help that they need. Um, the city starts to maybe seem like it's it's it can come back to life. Not it is coming back to life, but it can come back to life. Things are stabilized. NHP Kotokan isn't doing any weird stuff right now. And it just seems kind of quiet. Uh, um, I think I'm going to... I think I would probably be running analyses on the on Kolko Khan's shackling and making sure that there isn't any leftover um, any leftover fragments of the original program that we saw that that had corrupted it. Um, but failing that, if that's not going to do anything, I think I would be trying to talk to people, the people, if we can find anybody that we recovered from that prison in the Grand Duchy of Korea on that mission, because I would mm -hmm. like to get their statements, because technically, 
most most jails like that would be considered a pillars violation and that's a big old serious thing if we could get union to intervene then the baronies wouldn't be able to do anything but that might upset Fukane as well so i'm not sure but i want to get make sure i've got all of the i want to make sure i've got all of the information about that prison got you so um upon trying to like dig into the city's uh, uh kind of uh, municipal nhp the old version of cult Khan, this seems very quiet and very dark and you probably don't get any response from your calls uh calls mm-hmm. of sorts whatever those calls are you know um no response from heartbreak or no response from the nhp but you know something's there it just mm-hmm. nothing is responding to it's like a, a dead line yeah, it's gonna take some. That's gonna take some time for that. So I guess without without the benefit of that, I'm gonna have to hit the hit the bricks and start trying to manually track, like physically track down people that were in that GDK prison that we that we rescued. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I remember they were the first ones you all met when you came to Chibodi City. So that's yeah. not the best at Chibodi City. They were the first people you all met. And we can actually clean up this clock. Clean up these things. You guys are you guys are saved the city. I need to have all Look at all that completed. Completed. <coughs> now, now it's, it's gone. gone the city is yours. <laughs> the city is yours. Um so you say Oscar and I believe we'll put them somewhere over here and then we'll say Patrick somewhere around here. You guys' reputation is looking kind of low. Yeah. Like, huh? We've been spending our goodwill as quickly as we can earn it. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Alrighty. Um, yes. Yeah, so uh, I think he's probably out. in the central business. Uh, I yeah. I think he's probably uh, he's probably at Grand Crossing. He's probably because I think most of the people are probably still over there. They're not going to immediately go back to the city center. Would you sound off to any of us about where yes. you're going? Because I think oh, yeah. I actually remember where they worked. Yeah, you guys can tell me. Yeah, I'm, I'll tell you they, guys exactly what my plan is. I I remember them working at a restaurant someplace. So that so that should narrow shit down a lot. Okay. Yeah, you specifically knew the like you went yeah. to the restaurant, right? So you like yeah. You, yeah. Do yeah. we want to go there? I mean, if they're not, if there's not any evidence there, maybe at least they'll have some computer systems that we can, you know, try that, and pull something or out. someone will. Uh, someone so could be like, like, "Oh yeah, that new person that like just started working there. He lives over at blah 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 Street." Um. Hmm. We can say that you pass by the area where. Um, Uzo told mm-hmm. you that they worked, but the restaurant itself is pretty blown out. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> if there is a restaurant there, if they're serving anything, yeah. it's <clears throat> in rocks. Um, but you do know that uh, there's a small influx of people who fled Shibodi City, who didn't get captured by Kobo Khan, that are slowly coming back after the news mm-hmm. of you all setting up like a base here. But there is a uh, more of like DSEC, and you know, t- technically they're ties, they're just like extrastellar, mm-hmm. extraplanetary ties. Um, they're like uh, posting up on the uh, on Grand Crossing and other of uh, the like kind of entries into the city, screening people, looking at their IDs and stuff. And you may, if you if you want to find anyone, it's probably gonna be okay. Those like entry. Yeah, let's let's. I'll I'll I'm so yeah. I think I'll spend most of my time at the DSEC mm-hmm. checkpoints uh, with that, trying to look for those those people and see if I can interview them. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll pause on you. What about everyone else? I think Rico would be uh, sort of obs- uh, a little bit obsessively, a little bit paranoid, uh, just doing everything he can to purge his own systems, the Manaka systems, anything he can do to make sure that it, he can't, that um, uh, my friends at Harrison Armory can't track me. Harrison Armory. Um, he understands uh, it's probably um, only going to be, you know, it's probably just going to slow them down. But at the very least, you should try to do that. So he's doing everything he can, everything he can to make sure that he doesn't still have any track, any software tracking his mech or anything on the Manaka that could lead them to us. Uh, 
Gotcha. Just being gotcha, a little gotcha, paranoid gotcha. that he's, no, especially um, now that he's actually seen them, they've seen him, they know what his mech looks like. It's bad. Um, <laughs> so he is in the port okay. where with the Manaka trying yeah. to make sure that it is fast and hard to detect. Okay, cool. We'll say you are exactly as you said in the port. In the Monaco, let's move your ass over here. We'll probably move you over here. Um, it's kind of where the old uh, impromptu GDK base was when they came into the Shatter. Wait, is there music playing? There is a music playing. Let's play this one. <laughs> I don't like that one. Okay. Let's go that one. <laughs> We need a yeah, jaunty pirate tune. tune. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, you uh, you are at the, the ports here, and it's where the, the GDK's old base was, and you see a bunch of like um, leftover material and um, kind of like impromptu little bases and maybe some emblems and mechanics stuff that this area is just at. And there's a Tice, crew of Tice folks from VSEC kind of cleaning up the area. They kind of look at you. Are you in your mech or are you just in your... Uh, so mech, mech is in the uh, Manaka probably, but he's uh, on foot. Just like probably on the bridge, like okay. going through the systems, trying to really, really make sure that there's nothing in the Manaka that could be tracked. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you, uh, as you're in the Manaka, you're kind of tracking all the systems. You probably, you probably, you get a, a readout from Porsche. Um, still has a cat, and they kind of show you all the intrusions that were uh, happening or attempted to happen to infiltrate the uh, the Monaka. It was just like a wide area scan that Harrison Armory did of all receiving signals uh, in the general vicinity of your location to to find out if there's any information on you. So they probably just they dabbed every fucking network just looking for you, and there were several like dabs in the Monaka. All right. Um, so I guess he would probably have to go into, like, the systems of his mech specifically and just, like, do everything he can. He's using a lot of the Harrison Armor Armory licenses, unfortunately, so uh, there's not going to be... It's not going to be easy <laughs> to prevent them from tracking him, but he's going to do his best. Um, and barring that, if nothing else works, he can okay. weld some new armor onto the Manaka, at the very least. <laughs> okay. Um, so while you're doing that, and you're probably, Porch is probably, uh, not heckling you or anything, but just kind of like playing a, a news kind of blast, uh, or like on the radio that's, that's kind of going on as you're doing those repairs on the, or like doing what you're doing with the Manaka. And the rest of you here, probably too, as in whatever your respective locations are. Um, a couple of the news headlines are that, um, there are rumors and, uh, not rumors, but... Mm, I guess they are rumors, but they're actually kind of true. Uh, Ilyana taking a lead role with Tyst, uh, planet, planet side, and kind of being the one uh, uh, in place of all the members of Helm that were destroyed. She is the new Helm uh, herself. Um, and rumor of uh, the summit uh, on Yakko's dagger um, is kind of growing. It's like, oh, what's happening here? Oh, are they trying to, like, that's sacrilegious, yada, 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 yada. It's just a lot of like newscasts around that. Um, there's also news blasts that you all are her loyal guardians, and it refers to you all as Lancers loyal. Um, let's see, let's see. There is separate news in uh, blasts that the Sea of Tiano, their leader, uh, with, uh, who is I can't remember her name right now, but uh, <clears throat> their leader, the Caliphate of Pisha, and a rebel descent group of the trade company of Bria all have skepticism about this summit and they think it's just a, another opportunity for them to be taken out um, by the GDK so they don't really trust it and they don't trust Liliana. Um and there's a few smaller know, sidebar kind of like um, references to skirmishes outside of Chiboti City in the Sea of Tiano's land and uh, a few notes about Chiboti City is is uh is safe to come back to so you you hear all that stuff as uh, uh you away. said there's there are skirmishes in the sea of tiano's area or, or sp there's space yes 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 um so 
Apparent, well, I told you guys that uh, there is a truce between the California Pishim and the GDK because King Emmanuel Yemen mm-hmm. wanted to have the summit. But they had been skirmishing prior to that. But their skirmishing is still kind of happening, and it's happening in the Sea of Tianos later. It's just getting so bad that it's like growing in those things. So there's a bit of displacement uh, from like people. <coughs> is it happening like up around yeah. like this area? Um, it's pretty much just oh. like all over. Yeah. But there, we're talking skirmishes as in like three mech troops fighting, like maybe like, I don't know, like, like 20 tanks. It's not like anything, like it's not a war. It's like... That's kind of a big tanks. fucking deal, but okay. That's almost what we are. <laughs> okay, maybe... Maybe, maybe, maybe like, maybe like eight tanks versus two or three. Minutes. That's still um. That's half of what we are. Two scout forces. <laughs> you guys are actually worth like eighty minutes. So yeah, we're, well, we're pretty tough. Yeah, but whatever. But still, that's not something you just you don't casually send eight tanks anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You don't. I mean, you knew. You guys knew. They had been fighting before everything had kind of gone down in like session two and Ayash had mentioned that they had been skirmishing. Um, and uh, it, it, you get, I mean, you probably get the sense it's just like a power struggle between the two. Um, mm. yeah. What's well, an arms race exactly, but yeah. All right, so. Uh, just real quick, also, just a, another thing Rico would do. Is there still an island <laughs> left at all? Yako's Dagger. Oh, yeah, there's still an island, but Im- imagine it's an island with, like, a giant, massive right. crater in the center. So there's still mm-hmm. okay. two islands. Oh. Um, all right, <laughs> and is it is radiation going to be a problem? I guess Rico would probably just, like, just quickly just, like, Google to see if there's, like, if it's even still possible to use that place. <laughs> Yeah, with you guys' um, last, mm-hmm. I think it was Akiza that I was meeting with uh, Becca mm-hmm. and Tomb and Adrena. The last uh, uh, word was to set up and secure the summit on the Act of Dagger. So there's probably some initial DSEC uh, teams prepped with the right material to go and like survey the area. And the initial reports back, and Akiza, you probably are like reading this back and you can just send it to your team. But um, that it's like pretty hostile and it's going to take a long time to like make it right and safe for people to actually like step on so it's it's yeah radiated and not great but we have the technology oh, right boy. to stop all that stuff okay i need to move that so i mean i guess uh rico yeah rico what you hear back because you it's almost like if you're like googling stuff essentially you'll probably hear back like it's just like a right. hellscape maybe we need to <laughs> yeah. Re- yeah. rethink our location choice but I don't know. That's not my job. Uh, it can yeah. be fixed. It can yeah. be fixed. It can be fixed. We're making we, a point. You know, he just I mean, quickly is just like looks into that, like, oh, that's bad, and then is, he goes back to what he was doing. <laughs> I was gonna ask, is there maybe some way we can? Yeah, yeah. Porsche's just kind of around the, the Manaka, and um, there's probably a couple of Tice people around helping you do whatever you want to do. Um, uh, Riho and. Uzo, where are you two at? I'm waiting to see if Clara has anything because I only have sad boy plans. Sad boy plans? <laughs> oh, God. It's my time to be a hero. Um, so Riho would probably be trying to to plan this like title match that she has to do with Katra Sinclair as like a distraction for the people during this time because like it fucking sucks right now mm. bread and circuses Ooh. interesting do you know what... how, how, are, how are you yeah how are you going about planning like fine planning well first we need to find uh... I'm having mic issues sorry uh first Oh, you yeah, I'm having mic issues. Yeah. I need to fix something. Um, but first, first she's gonna right. uh, find a location, 
at step one and it needs to be somewhere that's like safe for people to gather but also like big enough for them to, i mean they just need like a ring essentially like it's going to be man on man not mech on mech so as a gm i think it'd be cool if you top the, the ziggurat <laughs> down from the city of can we do that? <laughs> but I don't know. Is this gonna be the <laughs> the title match for the defender of Chibodi? Ooh, I like that. <laughs> it's like broadcasted from three miles deep. In yeah, no, it's pretty good. I mean, if I'm allowed to do that, that'd be pretty sick. <laughs> well, I don't I don't know how you're gonna do it. But this is like having a WWF match, like, on the site of 9-11. <laughs> this Sunday, 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 they're going to drop, like, those towers. It would be a truly underground wrestling ring, though. <laughs> it would be. It's true. It would be underground, it'd be underground wrestling rings, yeah. It, is, it totally would be. I mean, good luck trying to find people who go back. Yeah, to this, seems yeah. Like, this seems incredibly insensitive the more that we talk about it. Yeah. Maybe we don't take Shaka's advice on this one. Yeah, it reminds me of when, oh my God, when John Cena announced the capture of Bin Laden on live TV at, at SmackDown. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh God, I know he did that. All right, lady, uh, Rio, any, any other candidates? Man, I don't fucking know. Like, we can build a ring, like, in the, in can oh, like, wherever gosh. people are staying. Like, where are people staying right now? Um, there's probably a lot of Tice folks um, inspecting uh, buildings that aren't structurally damaged and making them, like, um, places where people can take respite and stuff. And there's probably people going out into the neighborhoods in Chibodi City trying to figure out those, like, their buildings are, like, you know, their houses and homes are okay. As far as like the main group of people, they are most of, most of them are evacuated. So the city is not workable at this point. Where did they evacuate to? All across, like Chibodi City is like a um, um, conglomeration of like everybody. So there's people that were that are going to Yamea, which is like the Sea of Towns uh, capital. There's people are going back to Grand Duchy, people going to the trade company. Yeah, and they're going You could have a seaside, seaside match, match during the sunset. sunset. Ooh, that would be dramatic. That would mm. be Ooh, dramatic. and we could get pyrotechnics going. That would be very cool. Yes. Yes. That would be very cool. I think that's the move. We're going to do a seaside match. Thank you, Buso, for the idea. You're welcome. How are you going to go about doing this? So we need to find like a location that would be reasonable enough to secure because it would be a gathering of people. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm concerned about security. Um, and once we've picked like exactly what that location is going to be, um, just have I it, mean, just have it be on the shores of Chibodi City near uh, where the GDK nearly landed. And it's, and it's kind, kind of a, a snub, snub to them as well as a, ha ha, look, look, the city, the city is, is like mostly, mostly working, working, kind of. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. So, uh... Build seating okay. around the Manaka. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. <laughs> Last thing we want to be doing is calling attention to the Manaka. <laughs> That's Absolutely. true. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're going to put together a ramshackle um, fucking <laughs> wrestling ring. Mostly just like... Oh, you need to roll me for your... My what? You need to roll me yeah, for your, your social, social network. network. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, hold on. Let me check real quick. Uh, player notes we have. Yeah, it capsized last time. And I can't remember when, you, when, it, when it capsizes what happened. I actually have it pulled up right now. How do I roll for that? This is it. Hmm. Uh, can you just roll a d20? Wow! Wow! wow. Oh, no. Oof! 
Your organization needs to pay debts, make an aggressive move, or get bailed out. Well, a ringside pay-per-view match is a pretty aggressive move. It is, it is, that is an aggressive move. It's not pay-per-view, first of all. <laughs> Might have to be. Yeah. Well, well, what, what's what's the what's the what's the intended benefit? Of this? I'm trying to like distract and like raise morale for the people that are helping to rebuild the city. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I think that works. What um what what risky thing are you gonna do though? Like are you gonna? Wait, what do you mean? It's page 55. Um, so, page 55? Okay. Yeah, so you have to do something, because you failed the roll, you have to do something cuckoo to... Something, something risky. I feel like, I feel like the match probably turns into a shoot. Oh, shoot? no. Yeah, like, a shoot is when they actually start really hitting each other. Oh, oh I, I thought am. we were doing that anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe it's a literal <laughs> shoot, and she pulls a gun on you. <laughs> I thought that you meant like, oh, they're gonna have to do a shoot, and I was like, a like a really risque bikini model shoot. No, just to base your profession. Uh, um. Yes. No. This would this would be this would be deadly combat. She's already throwing. The, she already kind of has to like throw the match per her agreement with Kasha. I do. I do have to throw the match. Oh my god. You do. You do. Yours needs to pay. Yeah, pay debts. Make an aggressive move. Well, it seems out. like throwing the match is kind of paying a debt, right? It is paying a debt. That is. But true. that was pretty arranged. You've got no way out of it. You can't. There's no. There's no finessing it. It's just straight up. You lose. Good day, sir. You are depressed, depressed by the the, the inescapability okay. of this. <laughs> yeah, let's let's say this, uh, uh, Riho. So, yeah, you maybe are working with your sponsor, Blimpy, uh, that is uh, somehow <laughs> still around, and uh, they kind of give you a, a several sites um, of a potential fight with uh, Katra. One of them is uh, Yakta's Dagger. One of them is down in the city, and then one of them's um, at the uh, kind of. The, the port or whatever um, that um, where uh, Rico is at, um, and then for whatever reasons you choose the port, and they say, uh, yeah, they're going to need a little bit of time to set up the the arena, and uh, they also ask uh, you to locate your combatant because they've put out a couple hails and the <gasps> old Katra hasn't responded. No, <gasps> she ran off on the plug. Drama. She can't do this to me. <laughs> so yeah, you they start to set up everything and uh, they just ask you to um um yeah, find Katra and they also threaten you and say, um, if you don't like yeah, come through with this, they're gonna no longer. Great. Ice, Ice cold. cold. <laughs> Great, oh, it's fine. fine. I just needed them for that orbital drop that one time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but so you have a location, and the promotions are ready. Um, it'll take a. It might take maybe a week to set everything up, maybe two-ish weeks to set everything up and cool. get it going. Um, but yeah, you've got a location. Uh, the breaking of the uh, summit is planned. Let's say three weeks from now. Okay. Um, so. So uh, then what Riho's going to do basically for the next two weeks is just like promote the event. So she's going to like, she's, she's going to cut some fucking promos if she can find fucking Katra Sinclair. <laughs> and otherwise she's just going to start kind of like, she's not passing out flyers yet because she needs to talk to Katra first. But like, she's just going to be like, yo, there's a fight coming up and like kind of put that like out as a rumor. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. It starts to generate uh, 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 a little bit of friction and then excitement from the people that are, you know, your loyal fans that will support you no matter what. There's probably like five people that have literally followed you around. Aww. Like, like, video signs. Um, Throughout the entire last mission. But, um, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> what what do their signs say? Does it say? <laughs> um, they say, let's go, Rio. Let's go. It's five. It's it's five people. It's five people, and each of them is just holding a letter for Riho. One of them has an exclamation point. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, they're following you around, um, and you only just now know. Um, and what yes. <laughs> You're out. <fine. laughs> um. So yeah. Uh, you you still try to find Katra? Maybe go to the last known location, communication channels, asking other people. There's no word from her. It seems as though she's just uh, up this bitch. Off. She is the one who wanted this. She wants this she fight. Where she going? She does yeah. want this fight. I'm like, how am I supposed to fucking fight her? This is this is all she wanted. Was she? That's, that's all she wanted was this fight. She, this was her shit. Suspicious. And there's no leads. No leads at all. Um, what do you want? How do you want to track down the lead? I mean, like, where was she last seen? She was doing shit for our side. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I guess she was last seen probably around the less secure portions of Tribility City. We'll say, we'll just say like maybe like in this area or something like that. She was last seen in that area, um, taking out any residual um, forces of Coca Cola that didn't operate on the network, just like set off on like their own to go do bad things and. She's probably out there snatching construction nets and some sort. I need help from someone who's better at finding people than I am. That's not a skill that I'm good at. I'm, I'm reasonably good at helping and finding people. This is what exactly Heartbreak was meant to do. It's true. R.I.P. I... Mm, mm. Mm. Well, Kiza, you're, you're checking the... Uh, yeah. The, the entry that's true, but I would have information on people who've left the city potentially as well, but there's no trace of her. There still might be, there still could be something. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, how about this? How about we come back to you, Akiza, and uh, you have a Tice um, uh, security person uh, kind of in your face, and they show you like a data pad of like all the names that are coming into the city, and they show you exactly what they're doing. They're scanning uh, people's ID making sure they come to the city and, and keeping a record of it. And uh, they say to you, yes, that's just the, uh, the ones and twos of it. It's pretty simple. Just scan their name and um, nothing uh, nothing strange has been popping up. Might I add, thank you so much for saving this city. My family's house is, is, is in Chipotle City. And thanks to you, it's still- No worries. Place. I know you would have done the same if we were in flip position. What I want to know is what kind of uh, countermeasures do you have against um, Different kinds of cosmetic alteration, temporary gene modding, other things that would that would help people like that would help people bypass your security procedures. Yeah, well, as, if we can, our scanners uh, get past any cosmetic changes uh, themselves, but any uh, gene modifications, we don't go that deep. It's a bit invasive. Uh, everyone uh, on the city, most uh, uh, civilians, have some type of. Uh, Identification, kind of, from birth. Interesting. Well, I think we can... You know, I still think that in scanning people's DNA from this, even if they've had genetic, temporary genetic modifications, there would still be some markers that exist that would be unique to people that are from off-world. Maybe, in this case, Katra Sinclair's. Um, could I could I maybe go ahead and pull some of your records and start sifting through some of that data myself? Okay. Yeah, sure, anything. Yeah. All My right. eyes aren't trained. Mine aren't either. We'll give it a shot. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, yeah, be... it's definitely going to be difficult, but I'm definitely going to use investigate, and I'm going to look for trace signs that okay. someone might be, like, maybe they have slightly more off-world genetic markers and that might mean that they are a recent comer to the planet Tiano and maybe they that's Katra Sinclair. Okay. In disguise. 
Come on, buddy. That's a 10. That's yeah, a... Crap. Oh, it was difficult. It was difficult. It's a nine. Um, well, I'm less than a 10. Um, so you don't find out anything about Catrice or Claire. You do find out, though, that they're... Uh, hmm. Um, in finding, you find errors, like several other errors that match ish the, the idea of Bacatra hmm. that have entered the city. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I'm thinking, I, I think then I'm going to, I'm going to push an update for a silent security alert for the DSEC forces here. I feel like. I might, I don't know if I have the authority to do that, but I have the authority to like ping it to them. So I'll send a message up to the ships and then they'll send that back down. And then that way, if these things, if, if these continue, they'll, they'll be able to like put security details on those, those people as they enter the city and, and we can investigate them further. Yeah. So, cool. yeah. Um, again, they pop as, as like errors of like similar, like people are essentially trying to impersonate Katra. Mm -hmm. Um, but they, yeah, so you, you pass out the D seconds. Yeah, I'm sorry, Riho, I wasn't able to determine anything, but there is, there is some signs that someone might be moving people who are from off world around. So there, um, it, it's going to take a little bit more investigating. Thanks for trying uh, this fucking bitch. <laughs> I mean, there there's always an appeal to her ego that we could make, considering we have control of communications again. Um, just call her out. Yeah, you could just let people know that she's fled. That's a good point. That that's a good point. I mean, if she's um, well, you're trying to yeah. Isn't it beneficial if she doesn't show up though? Because they don't it's, have to lose. I mean, then you don't get the benefit of having the match for everybody. Right. I still need an opponent oh, yeah, for the match. Yeah, 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 right, right. Yeah, yeah. You can't fight some yeah. scrub. It's it's probably unlikely that somebody will come to the city. It's probably made it out to the rest of the uh, the the surrounding space that this place is a. Yeah. Should fight yeah. Ileana. Yeah. yeah. Although that would have been an interesting penalty, no. like <laughs> <laughs> having having the world's the greatest wrestler in the galaxy show up immediately, Macho Manu into the ground. Um, I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna find her, but I definitely think that you could smoke her out by revealing that she has fled, and you can use some of the data from my investigation to prove it. All right, but so uh, next stop, uh, a wrestling promo video that is going to be put out that is literally just going to call her the fuck out. And Riho, Riho's basically going to be like, Katra Sinclair is the one who called this match, and now Katra Sinclair is the one who has run away. Yeah, I'm calling you out. All right, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make you roll for that. That just sounds like something you could do, um, like a typical wrestler thing. So let's see. Reho, call out video of Katra. Gotcha. Recorded. All right. Um, so yeah, um, you spend the time to record that. I'm actually curious, like, where where are you recording this? Like, on top of, like, a skyscraper or some shit? I mean, why not? With, like, the sunset happening, like, in the distance or some shit, like, right at the beginning of sunset, so that it looks very fiery and it's, uh, you know, oh, yeah. foreshadowing the sunset beach match. <laughs> <clears throat> There's actually like a picture I have of Chibuya City that 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 uh, I think is like uh, this reminds me of. Let's see, Chibuya City. Oh no, I can't find it. Yeah, but it had the sun in the background. You guys remember that one I showed you? Like 
I think, think so. It had like brass like, colored like buildings. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember where it is, honestly, but that's what I'm, that's, that's the image I'm getting. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> cool. Alright, so yeah, so you do that, and um, it takes time for it to disseminate to the, the populace, but um, you, even though your social media empire has uh, essentially kind of went stagnant a little bit, it starts to, to murmur a little bit, you see. The hits on the interwebs and the Omninet kind of start to pick up after a while after you're promoting this. Nice, place. I'll take it. Okay. Then your your five fans are sitting literally at the the site. For oh no! <laughs> <clears throat> until the uh, until, until the thing goes up, they're reserving their seats. Um, and Buzo, what you got? You I have it? probably, probably been, been doing been nothing other than organizing. organizing like medical, medical supply, supply drop-offs drop and, and acting as a glorified, glorified bus, bus for medics and stuff and or using the Groot slang to push shit out of the way. <clears throat> but, but but we, we but, here's but here's the thing, the thing. Yeah, we lost we heartbreak, heartbreak, we lost Anyash, there's, there's so, so much, much fucking drama. drama. I don't care. I'm getting a goddamn drink. Buso, Buso, Buso is, is like, like one day he, he just sits, sits there, there, takes off all of his shit, shit at the end of the day, and then is like, I'm calling in tomorrow, tomorrow and the day after, after. and I'm going to wake, wake up tomorrow, tomorrow and get a beer, and that's, and that's how his day is going to go. I don't know what I'm doing, but there's enough weird ass like results on get a damn drink that something can happen. Right. Well, we did downtime last session. I know I that, like, like Antonio is a thing, and <laughs> but, but that's that's, that's just, just another obligation. obligation. I have had, had a lot of go time. time. Buso is so having some knee time. time. <clears throat> okay, all right. Go get a go get a go. go get a, well, actually, we'll probably say there's a actually probably a ship that has been converted into like a little like uh, a little bar. Um, a desec ship that's been converted to a bar that it's, they're just not using anymore and it's kind of landed in the place of a, a destroyed building or something like that and uh, people are I'm uh, sure I will not get kicked, kicked out, out of this place, place. <laughs> <laughs> I mean yeah if you wanna what, what, you just you just I am is that what it is? Buso, Buso is, is here and he's, he's gonna, gonna pull, pull a DJ Khaled on the bar, bar of just yes. thank you another, <laughs> one, another, another one another one another one Okay. Um, this probably this probably uh, we'll say it's probably like a a, a DSEC person off duty, um, kind of standing at this little counter, impromptu counter, or whatever. And there's a maybe a subaltern serving. No, actually, there's no subaltern. Yes. Yeah. There's another person serving. A, <laughs> yeah. There's another person serving a drink, and they look at you and say, "You're uh, you're Buzo, yeah. You're the one of the ones that say the shit." Sure, beer. beer. Sure, sure. Uh, get a beer for mm. get, get two. That, get two for this man. I will take I'll two take in two advance. advance. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, the 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 info's little little light on on D sex and uh, what are, what's going on here? We we heard things about a summit and we heard things about hold on Shibori being repaired. Hold on. We're just following orders. Okay. <laughs> 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 Hold on. Jeez, that's a long sip. That's, you know, it sure is a long sip. God. He's getting a single damn okay drink. There? It's just one huge. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm off the clock. Uh, oh. Uh, all right. Um, I have. Okay. I have been far too Good focused on everything that is happening immediately in the city. I honestly don't care about any of the politics. I am I am here to help people like you and and I'm going to just start randomly pointing around the bar and be like I'm I am here to make sure no one else here dies. That's all. I need another beer. And I'm going to push back the one that I just finished. And let's keep let's keep this ball rolling. Okay. Buso's ready. Buso's in punk mode. Mm -hmm. They say They say they say, uh, they look at you and they kind of see the, the vibe and, and hear the vibe that you, you're kind of throwing down. They say, here, here for Big Buzo on count of three. Here, here. And then the whole bar is like, here, here. And they raise mm -hmm. their glasses and 
Uh, my base is mm. This was not the vibe that Buso exactly wanted, but you know what? He'll uh. Well, they wanted to cheer you up. They wanted. To, they wanted to cheer you up. <sighs> I'm gonna do a get get a hold of something roll. I'm just gonna grab some beers from behind the counter. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna find a more. I'm gonna find a more ratchet place to hang out. <laughs> Yeah, they, they keep chanting your name as you leave the bar, but you leave the bar with like one of those handheld kegs that isn't like the This is acceptable. Place. Is it cold? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's cold. It's cold. It's yeah. actually a really good haul. Um, yeah, you probably find like a you probably find like a like a uh probably destroyed building you can just prop up and oh, get a good view. And, oh no, Buso Buso yeah. knows. In a situation like this, there is always going to be some weird Weird dudes on a like busted out stoop somewhere drinking some nasty piss swill that they brewed out of like something. Yeah. Word on the street. I'm ready. I mentioned he keeps walking bar. until he finds somebody Shit. who doesn't recognize him. <laughs> you don't. You don't find it. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll say. Um, we'll say. Actually, the bar that um, Antonio was last at you just go back to this the really is sad boy hours mm, dang <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah you just go back there because you don't find then, it in the bar or whatever seems like then i sit and drink my <laughs> keg angrily in this bar alone i have my sound system <laughs> there is the sounds of rage and punk coming from this building <laughs> okay nice um, cool. So as all you all are doing your the damn thing, um, you all get an indication on your on your slates that um, Becca and Adrina and Fatoon want to talk with you all. Um, this is a very important meeting that you all are called to do. It uh, comes with a uh, kind of like a subtext that there is a crisis and to solve it we need it you all right. assistance what time did we get this what what time did i the show up on my data slate uh we'll say it is probably seven yeah that gets hurled out the fucking window and you probably so someone, someone else can find me later from, from the sounds of the anger and punk So yeah, you all uh, get called to the meeting room, wherever you are, and it is <coughs> Becca. And Has anyone Trejo. seen Buso today? So let me show you all this. Nope. No. Have not. Right. I haven't seen him. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's busy doing something. Very... I'm sure he's like, applying medical care to somebody or something like that. That's what he's always doing. Riho's gonna try and get him on the comms. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna make this uh, get a damn drink roll now, cause I want to see if I get, if I get so fucked up that I lose my memory. This is my favorite roll in all of Lancer. Uh, go for it. Oh yeah, baby. Oof. Oh no. Oh boy. Um, decide whether you had a good time or not. I'm gonna say that I had a good time. Circumstances, circumstances considered. considered. However, However, you wake, you wake up, up in a gutter somewhere with only one remaining. remaining. Your dignity, and all, all of your possessions, or your memory. I'm going to say that I've kept my dignity, but I don't have any more of my records, and I don't know what happened. Fun. You did throw your army slate out a window. So I did. That's at least one possession that you lost. <laughs> you did, you did, you did. You say, yes. You say you're keeping your dignity. Okay, cool. I would have thought that went first, but what do I know? <laughs> Normally, yes, yes, that would have been, been the case, case but, but um, everything, everything else, else made sense. sense. Buso didn't, didn't want to remember being, being sad, sad boy. boy. He, he wanted, wanted to just, just get mad and, and wreck, wreck a building. Oh god, I don't have an image of Becca. Oh, I thought I did. Oh well. Let's see if I can 
It's fine, we can find him later. I'm sure this meeting is important. We can track him down afterwards, whenever we need him, whatever we need him for. Riho's just gonna be incessantly ringing him. Well, he's the one, he's the one to call the meeting. Who? Buzo. Ringing who? Buzo? Um, it just, she won't stop ringing until you answer. Just hear some ringing echoing through some empty streets. Well, For I mean, hours. I feel like if it's 7 p.m., he'd still be going. That's the thing. Ring a ding ding. All right. Give me a second. I hope uh, if I stand like here, can I still be heard? You can, can still be heard. heard. Is it bad yeah, for the microphone? Say, yeah. yeah. No? no. Okay. No? Nice. Okay. Just my leg hurts since I'm standing. I feel better. Okay. I have standing yeah, energy gonna today. Use, uh... See, you're going to recognize this character. You're going to recognize this character. <laughs> I'm going to use this character. Oh, boy. This is Becca. Oh, uh, hey! <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, so... Buzo, do you do you arrive or is it just the three of three of them? I'm trying to I'm think, think of any reason, reason that I would actually, actually show, show up, up, but if it's, it's 7, 7 p.m., I'm, I'm still fucking drunk and partying, partying by myself. That's fine. I'm just like, I'm on like autopilot, just ringing him at this point to annoy you on principle. So it's fine. If I can find my phone again. <laughs> All right. That's fine. All righty. Well, if Buzo's not showing up, mm -hmm. you three are there. You see um, uh, Platoon, you see Becca, the two of the comedy people, and you see Adrena, and you see. What's his Cisco? Name? Um, Ooh, Spigo Santini. Spigo uh, Santini with the Calpid, yeah, Calpid feature. But uh, they are on your side, though. They like you all. And um, so as you enter the room, uh, Fatoon kind of chimes in and they're kind of sitting at this kind of uh, table right here. Um, and uh, she chimes in and says, ah, the three have arrived. Thank goodness. We were just discussing the matters of import. Where is Boozer? He is otherwise out. indisposed tonight. Out doing humanitarian work probably. <laughs> the smash, smash cut, cut to, to some, some fucking death, death grips looking video. <laughs> Oh my god. It's going wild. <laughs> well, uh, best give a restless soul time to reflect, I guess. I'm glad you all are here. We were just discussing Becca's plan. We have received a word from a call for help from uh, Gian Sola. And they show you. Where is this person? Can you can you spell that for me? Their names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, actually it's it's not Giancola. Uh oh actually it is Giancola, yeah. It's spelled Oh no, no, that's the wrong person. Sorry. It's Yanto C. Yanto C. Yanto C. Okay. Get the name Gianto. Right. I never hear it again. Um, Yanto C is the administrator of his interstate affairs of the Sea of Tiano with Shu McCain's departure. And um, Batum tells you, we have word that Yanto C, the one who will represent the Sea of Tiano at this summit in, say, three weeks, is, uh, is traveling to the Caliphate of Pisha, but their ship is likely to be targeted by assassins and interlopers we believe to be from the GDK. Well, rather, Becca believes to be from the GDK. We wish you all to, to preserve the sanctity of this summit and the legitim legitimacy of it. We want you all to uh, essentially escort or protect the other's uh, ship. Make sure it does not become exalted and him likely killed. Rico looks around at the rest of them, just sort of gives a... Hmm? <laughs> uh, 
No, this this sounds good. I think mm-hmm. I think it's it's important, and I think that whoever is going to be on potential mission targeting um, Yantos C is going to have um, they're going to be they're going to have a little bit more um, intelligence than the average trooper. So it might be an opportunity for us to potentially capture and extract intelligence from some high value targets. We turn their we turn their trap into a into a trap. This is what we do best. I'm out for it. Yep, same. Becca, as you say that, like you, Becca turns in and says, "I'm glad you mentioned that. We do believe there is one of import in the GDK that is leading this mission. I believe you all are aware of them. They go by Colonel Greer. They led the occupation forces at the GDK." in Chibodi's um, uh, town of need. If you can, eliminate this person. You said Colonel Greer? Yeah. So when uh, in, a, in a session, Rio had picked up a comms log oh, of yeah. a GDK person, and it was Colonel Greer Them. who told everyone to kill. Oh, that makes sense. Interesting. Dang. You know what? If that person, yeah, I would absolutely like to take them out of the equation because they uh, are part of the conspiracy. It's. I, I think we definitely need to start building a web of people in the GDK who are part of this conspiracy and those who aren't. Yeah. You get the sense Becca wants to send a message by eliminating someone. And, uh, yeah. Perfect. All right. Essentially. Good. Um, then Adrina, uh, uh, the leader of DSEC, uh, chimes in and says, and I'm sure you all have heard the, uh, the broadcast, the GDK, uh, hasn't yet agreed to our summit. Uh, they doubt the legitimacy and the validity of it. Without the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh attendance of the Sea of Tiano and the Caliphate of Pisha, both of which are reluctant and skeptical of it. Uh, they don't see any 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 uh, use in actually holding it. Um, King Man- Yemel, Man- King Manuel Yemez is being uh, advised by his uh, consort Liana uh, de Leon to not attend if the others aren't in attendance. I suspect not only uh, finding Yanto C, but convincing the rest in the Caliphate of Pisha and a contact we have in the trade company of Rhea, a rebel of uh, the merger, Gion Sola. You all need to bring them all to the table. Well, I think that protecting Yanto C is probably, that's probably our, our top way to at least get him handled. Um, mm-hmm. I think maybe our next order of business, well, that might be too much for the speeding, but our next order of business might be assessing these rebels' strength and seeing if we can reinforce their, reinforce them. The rebels uh, yeah. in the trade company in Bria? <clears throat> um, you know what you'll probably know about them is Gion Sola has uh, been at the center of the merger of the GDK for a long time. They are a former Caliphate of Pishian that has been uh, adopted into the uh, trade company of Bria, and they hold some kind of stature within the company itself, the nation company itself, but uh, they've got a, quite a bit of a following from uh, other dissenters in got the it. trade company. Mm. Okay. So yeah, um, the Becca will chime in again and say, uh, that is your mission. We anticipate if you all leave, uh, in the next five hours, we will be able to reach Yankosi's ship before it is intercepted by others. We also have equipment we're bringing you. We have flight platforms that will be equipping to your mech, mechs that you'll be able to uh, essentially do the deed without substantial upgrades and any other adjustments to your loadouts. Okay. Perfect. All right. Uh, I have a question. You expect this. Uh, Colonel Greer to be attacking us, uh, attacking Yanto C, right? Uh, so, do you have an expectation for exactly what kind of forces would be uh, in this attack? Do you are you expecting like a major military uh, incursion, or is it uh, more like a team of assassins? 
Mm. Um, <clears throat> Deca will say, judging from the intel we received from the deployment forces in Chiboni City, we suspect, and you guys know this, I think you acquired it. Uh, one of you all acquired I think it was you, uh, Rico, you acquired it a, um, a long time ago about what types of um, uh, mechs that the GDK had been acquiring from uh, the trade from the Kraken trade barons, and it one of them was like a Phantom. It's a, a mech plat mech chassis platform that is uh, from a far off. Oh place. boy! All right. Yeah. So Becca tells you that uh, there's a potential for that, and there's a potential for, of course, airborne assault forces. So any airborne mechs you can think of in your uh, memory of. Right. I was just it's, wondering it's if you are uh, in, expecting like them to send a major military, like a, I don't know, are we, uh, should we expect to meet a squad of um, mechanized, chassis, mechanized chassis or should we be expecting to be fighting off a hundred gunboats or something like that? Uh, Becca says, uh, let's just say if I was in the business of assassinating someone I would send an army. He's not helpful. Uh, That's personally what I would do. You uh, cut out for a minute there. Oh, I, oh, just, I just said, said that, that he's, he's not, not helpful. helpful. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That has a style of overwhelming force, and uh, that's what they would send, overwhelming force. Very well. Uh, we should... Uh, Get ourselves ready and uh, go make sure we can track down our uh, snake pilot. Yes. You should. I've already commandeered your mech and outfitted in my team. I outfitted them with flight platform, so they'll be ready when you all are. Again, you are to leave out promptly in five or so hours. All right. Do not make haste. <laughs> okay. so, yeah. so, so by my, my rough, rough timeline, rough that, time means that means you gotta, gotta leave by, by midnight. midnight. Busa would, would probably come back to like the like barracks or wherever he was staying by then. By then. But, but this means, means that I'm going, going to be deploying, deploying drunk. Yeah. Good. I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm pour. Gonna what do you think? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna pour, pour some, some whiskey for myself, myself just to get in character, but continue. <laughs> what? Okay, I think I, mean, I think you're good. You're good. <laughs> like, you're I'll like, I'll, I'll take that. I don't know, I'll take that. Okay, if yeah. after <laughs> I you're impaired. you're impaired for the first, first, first turn. turn. Yeah, first scene. First scene, you're impaired. First scene, you're impaired. There's not a there's 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 two things here. There's gonna be a okay. scene and there's gonna be a combat. Okay. So I, I, cause, cause, yeah, yeah, when you, when said, you said scene, scene I was like, you like, mean a whole ass mech combat? Shaka, why? I'm a medic, I'm sure I have something to sober up quick. That would be terrible. let me see if I can find what I need to show you all. Oh, that was in prelude, that's what it was. There's a ship that you guys will be getting on, and I cannot find the fucking computer, whatchamacallit of it. Uh, test prison, female limits, helm tests, and that you destroyed the little helm block. Is that mission 2 that you guys are doing? I think it's a mission 2. Okay, I can't find it anymore. Okay. Um, so yeah. Buzo, you will say it's around, uh, fast forward a couple of hours, around 11.30 p.m. Uh, your compatriots are loading up into the mechs. And you guys see that your mechs are in what looks like uh, more so like a Infocani type, uh, type, type mech hangar. Maybe uh, it's Becca's own personal ship that he's uh, brought with him to the Carib system. And uh, not Infocani personnel, just DSEC personnel here. But you see that your mechs are kind of like um, uh, kind of suspended almost uh, in like, I don't know anti-gravity or something like that they're mm -hmm. they're like suspended magnetically or something like that mm -hmm. and they're kind of oscillating around as like there's like arms and weird little uh instruments kind of outfitted them with these massive like 
back boosters that have like jagged and angular kind of uh, 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 geometric designs to them, and you see that they, you know, there's, there's boosters equipped to them, and they fit on all of your mechs, varying sizes. And uh, one of the person people of the uh, D set comes up to you all and says, "Oh, you all have made it. We made the uh, requisite upgrades to your mechs. I'll just advise you." Avoid taking any uh, structure damage uh, to your, your, your machines. These will oh. likely go first. And if you will, if they do, I would advise you uh, find stable ground or you'll plummet to the ground. Awesome. Rico is just marveling at whatever machine they have attached to have a long boy special to make it able to fly. I mean, they're these are pretty yeah. standard like anti-grav lift technology. You guys don't have these on like everything? My house had these. Union is crazy. <laughs> this is like a normal... I guess we're just tied down by gravity over here. A little bit. What was this about privileged people on the internet? Okay. I'm sorry that I have basic technology like the Skywheel. That's fair. Um, I guess at this point, Boozer shows up like half into his hard suit. Yeah, what the hell happened to you? Okay. I, I I was, I was busy. busy. The fuck are, are they, they doing, doing to my, my snake? snake? <laughs> they're putting up they're putting a set of sky wheels on it. That, that is, is cool. cool. Do we keep, Do we keep those? those? Uh, they don't have shoots, so I wouldn't want you to. They're single yeah. use. They're single use. They're like uh in the in the spirit of armor yeah. yeah, like a white glint, the type of bullshit yep. that's yep. white glint in the trailer. Yeah. That's, that's fine. fine. They're probably they're about the same size, size as mine. mine. Booster's drunk. Booster's gonna see if there's a, there's a forklift that he can come and dear to steal some for home. Booster, are you. Ah, uh, motherfucker. Don't. Booster, are you drunk? I. I might, might be. be. Uh, one, of the, one of the DC people say, uh. Absolutely. Uh, he's, he's going to be fine. Booster, are you going to be fine? Like, this is. I am a I am professional. A professional. I, have I have smelling salts, salts inside, inside my med kit, kit, which is in the cockpit, cockpit which, is which is very high up. <laughs> We're going to be fine. I think that's Ryan laughing. Right. <laughs> yeah. Your group sign, actually, the way they outfit it, it has to be curled up like I was like a centipede so they can affix like the... I'm a roly poly. <laughs> but once you're done with it, you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Otherwise, you just wouldn't be actually feasible. I mean, I guess you could probably. <laughs> no, just the idea, the idea of it being this fucked up Katamari, Katamari ball is hilarious to me. <laughs> it's like a flying snail or some shit. This looks, looks so, so silly. silly. <laughs> <laughs> um, you all know that the battle that you will soon be engaged in is airborne. Um, you can change stuff on your mechs if you want to. But if you lose your, if you take structure damage and you lose your fight system, you're gonna plummet at the start of your next turn. And you'll basically be removed from combat unless you have something to stand on. That's not gonna well, be fun. Well, well, I can already fly. So you can't equip flight systems if you want to. Oh yeah, you're all good. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Good. But I'll just have to make sure nobody takes structure damage. It'll be fine. Uh, I have goodbye. a custom paint job. That'll help, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. It's a one-six yeah. chance of helping. <laughs> it might. That's good enough for me. Will we'll jump, jump yeah. is, is jump jets, jets is, is jump jets, jets considered, considered enough, enough to keep me in the air? Yeah. No, you need a layup. <clears throat> the, oh, oh, God. The but we're fine. We're not... We're just going as a precaution. We are not definitely getting in a fight. We're just yeah. offering an escort. This is a normal escort mission, and we are not normal guaranteed to be exactly. getting into combat. This is just a precaution. Everything's going to be fine. Well, let's, let's, say this, let's say this. Let's say this. You have... Uh, flight systems on your mech that you don't have to pay SP for, and you can choose to destroy it. But if you if you lose it, you're gonna plummet. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you know what? You know Fuck what? it, Fuck we, it. Ball. we ball. I have three armor. That's... That's... Good last job. We're fine. And I can fly Everything in. is awesome. I'll be okay. So yeah, with the flight systems, uh, pretty much you can only travel in straight lines, um, and uh, it's not going to cost you heat or anything. And, they put uh, wings yeah. on my wings so I can fly while I fly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. Although, I mean, it'll be helpful for me to not put a, get a bunch of heat on my neck <laughs> on my way there. That's you know, true. To engage my flight systems. It'll get me to the position, at least, until the crazy stuff true. starts happening. Cool. Yeah. Yep. I believe so. Yeah. Cool. Well, as you all finish making those adjustments to your mechs, um, who walks in the door in the uh, the 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 mech hangar, essentially where you're at, is old Oscar, and um, a crew, because Queen is hurt. And Oscar says. Uh, he's got like a, a flight of a flight um, suit on, and he will. Be Are you joking? Station. And uh, so will. Okuni, so will it's Okuni. good to see you. <laughs> Oscar says. Oh, oh, it's it's good to see you too, uh, uh, Rico. Uh, me and Oscar, we're, we're here to help you all out. We're a team. That's that's sweet. Uh, you know, Oscar says. Uh, just make sure we don't get shot down. That's the plan. Uh, you know, it's good to have at least somebody that we feel like can be, you know, competent helping us out with these kinds of things. And he's looking directly at Akuli. Um, <laughs> 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 no, just looks at you and is yeah, like, that's not fair. Yeah, Listen, like, I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Right. This is fine. Um, yeah, uh, team suit. Good to have you back out in the field again, uh, even if it's just the two of you. Oscar says, uh, yeah, whatever, and then walks off uh, to, to start the initiation flight procedures, as it is probably like 11.45 or some sort of like shit like, shit like that. I know Cooley's like, uh, us too, Uso. Ignore Oscar. I'm not Uso. Uh, oh, no, I'm trust me, trust I am too. Yeah. So, uh, wait. Uh, no, no, exactly no comment. comment. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so let me remind me just okay? like, I, I want to understand like, so we are having flight systems attached to our mechs, but we're also going to be in a transport plane. Yeah. You're getting dropped off in a ship. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. You don't have the, the fuel power essentially to make it all the way to and catch up with the thing. Okay, so we're, we're gonna be, uh, we're like a bunch of smaller flying machines being dropped out of a big flying machine. Got it, okay. Correct, correct, yep, yep. All right, everyone, uh, um, everyone familiar with the controlling a flight system? You know how to uh, use all of this stuff? Uh, Rico just try, j takes like the, with the world's fastest and least helpful like rundown of how to control all this stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, easy. It's, it's just, just inverted, inverted controls. controls. Give me a, give me a roll. Oh to man, I don't have anything <laughs> helpful for that. Uh, <laughs> use your grit. grit. Use your grit. Grit is sure, 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 sure. Uh, that's just a d20. I think, uh, grit, go, go. Oh, did you guys take core bonuses? You should have. Yes. I six. I did. I got mine. Ooh. Wait, why did it add zero? You grit. Your grit. You should be two. Like two. Oh, well, it's still an eight. Yeah. It should be two. I clicked grit. Okay. Yeah. Still this. <laughs> All right. Well. Why is my game really nice? All right. What core bonus did you guys get? Overpower Over caliber. caliber. I. All theater. That's that's flight, flight for me. So that I, it's. So I don't have to use the flight okay. system and save myself three system points, and it's also one less heat every turn, so I can use it a lot more often. OP Cal, Gygus frame, interesting. Oh, you get more threat. Oh fuck. And then what do you choose, Hardpoint? Improved armor. Oh, you have more mounts. Cool. 
Very cool. All right. Cool beans. Well, you try to explain that, Ryan. I mean, Rico. And uh, maybe it falls. Yeah, I did so say it was the fastest and least helpful <laughs> run down how to pilot a flight system. <laughs> this goes through the whole thing super fast, and it's impossible to retain any of it. It's inverted, inverted controls. controls. Riho's just gonna crack her knuckles and be like, "All right, we out here." <laughs> we out here. Akuli says to you all, um, um, says uh, uh, Kizwa, Buzo, and Rico. Um, well, here we go. I wish you all the best. Akuli, I mean, uh, Koyla told me to tell you she wishes you all luck, and she says to you, uh, Riho. Rio, I heard about your match. I hope I'm uh, you make it back and you know, I'm able to see it. I want to see you fight. Rio's gonna flash the peace signs and then the finger gun. See you in the ring. She said the thing. Oh, well, she said it. All right. She said. She said the thing. Change the campaign title from Twenty Five to See in the Ring. It's a good tag Five voices all cry out in unison off in the distance. <laughs> Probably, probably right before, right before leaving, leaving, I would probably, probably go to a coolie, coolie and, and in a moment, moment of, of clarity, clarity and, and no drunkenness, drunkenness complete seriousness, seriousness, would probably, probably tell, her, tell her, like, like no, one's no one's gonna, one's gonna die, die on, on this, this trip. trip. And then yeah, immediately, immediately stumble, stumble and leave. <laughs> <laughs> she says, someone tie this man up. Someone put him in his neck. I'm ready. I am totally, totally ready, ready to fly, fly at, at several, several speeds, speeds faster, faster than... than you know, you a, know human a human should be able, should to, be able to take while drunk, while drunk in, the in the air. air. Right. So you all are moving from Shibodi City. And you're moving kind of in, uh, you know, uh, this uh, direction from Shibodi City mm -hmm. over here to intercept um, uh, Yanto Sea's uh, transport that is flying um, from. Actually, we'll see you guys are actually mm -hmm. we're going to the cockpit with Isha, so. Okay, so you guys are flying over Yamea. Um, as you all fly, I don't think any of you have really been no. to the Sea of Chia. Um, super a lot. Um, do, do, do. As you all fly over um, the Sea of Chia, you see the beauty that it is that lands the Sea of Chia. They're pretty much the best and greatest nation state um, down here. Are you biased? Uh, Chia. And uh, you just see, um, this is the best. <laughs> they got everything figured out, and they're not like struggling for shit. They're trying to teach everyone else. That's why the Queen Shima Kane's from them, because they're the best. Um, but um, unfortunately, there's a lot of skirmishes. As you guys are kind of flying over uh, uh, all these lands and stuff, and you're probably getting a, 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 a short and sweet of it, of uh, what's below um, from Okuli. And she'll kind of give you a bit of history and say, Yeah, it used to be uh, quite beautiful around here, but because the skirmishes between the Caliphate and the GDK, a lot of these cities, a lot of these outposts and bastions of Utopia have been being damaged, and people have had to evacuate. And she just kind of shows, flashes a couple images on you guys' uh, HUD while you're in your mech, and they show like cities evacuated. And mm -hmm. former sites like this that you see on the screen um, just. Uh, deserted uh, because of the skirmishes that have been occurring um but yeah she continues to kind of tell you guys about that and uh maybe gives you a little bit of uh, background on my yantho c they're a good dude good person and uh they're a successor to mm -hmm. Kane, um if there could be a successor to like her greatness <laughs> and um eventually you all start to enter um the suspected airspace of yantho's um uh ship and you guys start to get you're patching to the, the comms of your of your ship with um, um, Oscar and Akuli, and you hear Oscar say, "This is this is Tice calling Yanto C. Are you there? This is Tice calling Yanto C." And you get a, a call back from their pilot. Yes, uh, we're here. Uh, we were heard uh, we were we were gonna have escorts. Uh, you all have uh, how far back are you? Then Oscar says, "We're about an hour away." We'll be there soon. Hold out and let us know if there's any disturbances in the area. And the other person says, well, Roger that. We'll do. Come out. And, uh, Oscar says, You all 
seems we've arrived just in time. <sighs> Hope so. Hopefully nothing happens and we're just being a little bit more, a little bit cautious. But if this Colonel Greer shows up, I, I know that we told Becca that we would try and take him out, but I think we need to take Colonel Greer alive. If possible. We need to find out more about this conspiracy. Otherwise, they're just going to conspiracy us again in the middle of us trying to do something. Probably. Mm -hmm. As you say that, uh, Okui says, wait, we're getting proximity warnings from our, 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 our vessel. Doo, doo, doo. And you feel like a, you hear and kind of like your, your gyroscope, it kind of like mm -hmm. um, bounce or whatever, uh, starts to like shift a little bit as a ship kind of like, doo, kind of tilts a little bit. <clears throat> and Kuli says, there's someone on our ship. Doo, you hear like a, kind of like mm -hmm. a, a latch onto your ship. And there's another one. Doo, there's tooth. There's, there's something on our ship. I'm deploying you all. And Okuli says, uh, she says, I'm going to deploy you all. And you have to get these fucking things off your ship. Some seem okay. like has, uh, oh, fun. themselves to your, your flight <sighs> Um, so as it Lakuli uh, uh, deploys you all, you're kind of like deployed from like little hangers essentially that, that have been, uh, set up and <coughs> drop you down into the open air. And you guys are moving at alarming speeds, um, but it's uh, you're able to kind of like uh, uh, kind of launch off um, and activate your flight systems and start to catch up with uh, after you're deployed, start to catch up with the with the uh, ship that Lakuli and Oscar are on. As you guys are deployed, your jet, your jet booster starts to activate and start propelling you guys at alarming rates. You see two mech pattern, uh, uh, small half-sized mechs that seemingly have attached themselves to your the ship that uh, Cooley and Oscar are on. They've asked you all to eliminate them. And then oh, that's very small. Oh, boy. To do this. Um, all right. <laughs> I would like to, and we're doing, these are, yeah, we're in our mix. Okay, um, I would like to use yeah, my yeah. flight yeah. experience to allow me to boost forward and try to catch up with them. Thinking agility is probably the uh, mm -hmm. appropriate stat here. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. You're gonna try and catch up with your Yeah, yeah, and just try to like pluck the these these are like half size mechs, so they're not you know, they shouldn't be incredibly strong when if I can just like get up close and just like <clears throat> just grab and pull them off, right? That's, at least that's what I'm gonna try to do. Cool. Uh, for some reason all of my uh as you, as things you, have uh, collapsed in on themselves and all the <clears throat> buttons are <laughs> layered on top of each other for some reason. Oh yeah. As you uh, focus in on your head, kind of focusing on these corners, it looks like they're ripping into the, the they're trying to rip into the, the ship's uh, uh, engines essentially. Uh, <coughs> so this wreck, this this check is going to be difficult because if you fail, bad things are going to happen to the ship mm. itself. All right. Well, I think that's <coughs> all I can do. Uh, so let me. Alrighty, give me an agility gotcha, check. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. you activate your thrusters. Alright. Oscar's like, get this thing off of our ship! Go! Hey! Nice! Oh, oh my god, oh, difficult. Oh, so. I got difficult and risky mixed up, my bad. Uh. All right, one more D6. Let's just do that. Um, no, you're good. You're still, this is okay. Actually, you're still good. Um, so yeah, what happens? Um, just being the most experienced pilot, using the flight system that uh, that one might expect to have to attach to a mech, Rigo is the first to spring into action. As soon as we drop out of it, um, it just boosts forward and uh, takes an assessment of like what's going on, and immediately just zooms forward. Uh, and just it, his mech reaches out and it takes a second because it's like trying to catch up with something that's moving the, this plane is probably capable of moving faster than our mechs generally um but uh he's able to boost forward and just and grab onto the hornet and um rip it off uh of the uh the plane uh probably uh sending the two of us like flying and in, in uh, like spinning through the air as uh, it tries to escape from uh, my grasp. 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. You do exactly that, and just in an instant, after you're deployed, doof, you guys see your, your Rico just activate their, their boosters, doof, and jet off, almost like a lightning speed. And then soon after that, ripping off the Hornet, and the Hornet doesn't even know what's going on. It's like you guys are toiling in it, uh, kind of uh, falling in the air, essentially, and it starts to like fire its Hornet pistol at you, the Stinger pistol, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, and it's like missing you uh, up close uh, range or whatever. And yeah, there's definitely a pilot in here, and you definitely see that this uh, this is a GDK type mech. All right, what are you what are you gonna do hmm. as it's shooting itself? You, you have to complete. The oh, what am I gonna do with this uh, Hornet? Um, yeah, I'm going. Mm -hmm. like yeah, I, I what I'm gonna do is uh, just tear the arms off of it like a <laughs> damn. <laughs> it's half, it's half size. Oh so wait, like, yeah. If I tear the arm, that's off. those are the dude's <laughs> arms. Huh? Um, so maybe not that. Um, yeah. uh, Rico uh, is just gonna uh, as it's trying to shoot me. Uh, Rico is probably just gonna grab the gun and crush it. Oh, all right. You grab the gun and crush it, and you also crush That's the fine. hand, which may or not, may not be the hand of the, uh, of the pilot as well. And, um, yeah, we'll just say that. You, you're, you're dealing with that. So what are the rest of you three doing? There's one more little little bugger here. I, I If you want to fastball specialty, <laughs> Riho, I could get in there and do something to him. Okay. Okay. Bet. Bet. This is much yeah, better than better my than plan. plan. Yeah, chuck me at him, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hack him. I'm going to try and use uh, the... Uh, I'm gonna try and use my uh, bend the knee suite with to submit to try and overheat him because if they're flying and the, as fast as we're moving, they're gonna be generating a ton of heat and that will be more effective. So I feel like that's a systems okay. roll. Yeah, yeah with, with accuracy from Riho because of the, uh, the hard light. Yes, Thanks. chuck me with that yeah. big old arm. <laughs> Check me with your hey, hey, 17. Hey. Oh, 17. So what does it look like Rio, when you check a... What does it look like when I do that? Yeah, because I'm a half-size mech. I'm Bjorn. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, my hand is, like, bigger than you are. So we're just going <laughs> to... Uh, I mean, I feel like she's probably just going to kind of, like, real classic, like, pick you up with, uh, with both hands and kind of, like pull back and then you just you cut like, out whoops my bad uh kind of do like a baseball throw just kind of like pull back and like with the one big hand like launch you and just for good measure she is gonna shout crescent remedy blast i i i come in like a, a crescent red remedy and as i just like roll over the ship i'm in that my my docking clamps latch onto the onto their ship and the signal just fries this guy is sweet and you could see little little explosions and vents of heat as his mech starts overheating nice nice yeah you see that exactly as this one horn that was tearing into this the ship's uh the ship's engines it's just kind of uh it's 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 mechs like armor and plating starts to like bubble because this reactor is kind of going over uh overheating and such and it starts like bubbling kind of blows off you see a whole side of this mech starts uh mech and the person uh, blow off and then they just kind of like slowly slink and fall off of this ship falling into a, the abyss of over the sea of town and they're 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 essentially dead <laughs> oscar says uh thanks for that and they're almost taken over by this mech wait and he, he kind of indicates it and sends a message to you all's uh, huds it, it appears Re uh, rico is still dealing with one shall i shoot it uh, do not shoot it. I am still holding on to it. Uh, I, is there... You know what? I rolled high on this. I'm just going to decide it, and you can veto it if because you're the GM, but I'm gonna, I'm trying to be more proactive. Uh, I am... Go Rico is... Uh, having now crushed the weapon, um, Rico is going to... Uh, yeah. This is a half-size mech, right? That means the controls for it need to be, like, on the yeah. actual thing. Rico's going to use... Uh, his mech to just push the uh, parachute and just drop it. <laughs> okay, that's probably like a, that is gonna okay, that I'll bear gonna immediately an emergency a lot of G forces or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably like an emergency release that like is linked to the pilot's hard suit, and you can 
like forcefully uh, pull, and they're gonna be ejected from yeah. the neck. He's gonna have a have bad, a bad time, time at these yeah, speeds. speeds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not, gonna, not going he's, well. He's, yeah, I'm not gonna. I think things are gonna be broken. Yeah, things are gonna be broken. <laughs> so that happens, and you see this person violently be pulled like super fast, just right, right behind you, and you don't know if they're gonna be alive, but uh, you check the pilot out tonight. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Oscar says, uh, good job. And Rico is right. gonna not drop They're on us, no. the Hornet, <laughs> because I don't know what we're flying over right now. Well, it's like, it's like, it's like kind of like, it's, it's back, it's like open, like you can see like all the, it's just like a, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know if we're it. flying over a town right now or anything like that, so we're just gonna carry it back inside the plane when we get a chance. Um, okay. don't get a chance, as Oscar is gonna tell you all to... You might as well just fucking go. And uh, Oscar has unanimous control over your uh, flight systems and presses a button and it activates it and <laughs> makes you guys go a lot faster. All right. I guess we're going. Oh, I'm, oh, very, I'm very sober, sober now. now. Brace yourselves. <laughs> yeah. Brace yourselves. This is going to be a bit rough. And as you all, uh, your, your uh, jet boosters are kind of activated. Mm -hmm. It's like propelling you all um, past, probably past the speed of sound or something like that. It's fast. Doof, doof, doof. You all start shortly thereafter, start to reach a, what you see is a, a large armada of sorts. Uh, you see Yantho sees massive like a uh, B2 bomber like uh, like ship. And you see a lot of like smaller ships kind of around. And you see like shots kind of being fired. Doof, 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 doof. And you start getting incoming messages from um, the person that Oscar was talking to. It says, they made it on us! Quick! Quickly, you all! Take them out! They're trying to take out our, our engines! God. Oh boy. Oh boy. And we're gonna bring you guys over to the combat! Alright, at the, at the insanely high speeds uh, being activated, <clears throat> you get uh, whatever the uh, uh, Harrison Armory really equivalent of a yeehaw. Coming from Rico Smack. <laughs> oh no. That's an armory. That, that is pretty yee Yeah. Well, he's from a, pl a small pla a small planet called Espen, I believe. So, whatever their equivalent of, of that kind of thing okay. would be. Yippee Kaye. Yeah. Uh, which actually. <laughs> something like that. I don't know. Some You definitely. It's getting loud in yeah. Rico's mech because we're moving very fast and it's awesome. <laughs> getting loud and crazy. Alright. We get a yee haw <laughs> from you. Um, so, how this is gonna work, y'all, mm -hmm. is that you can deploy in that uh, green area. The map hasn't changed for me. Yep. yep. Uh, yeah, we're still in that big, the world oh, map. Shit. Oh, my bad. That's good. That's good. I can't, uh, I didn't mean to show this to you. It um, took too long. Claire left. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do we want to, do we want to take a sec before we, before we hop into this? Break. Okay. Let's, let's take a two minute break. Yeah, we're gonna do a countdown. I realize it's hard to. Yeah, anyways. Two, two one, break. Three, two, one, break. Eight. Break. <laughs> Alright. It's hard to edit these videos. Yep. yep. Welcome back. Alrighty. So, you all are. Oh no, that's too loud. I'm fucking so loud. Uh, you all are just now arriving. Jump, jetting, boosting, and such. To catch up with Yanto C's uh, ship that is being assaulted by an armada force of the GDK. How this map is going to go is that there are four generators, four engines, and you all can't let NPCs start their turn next to them. When they start their turn next to them, they <sighs> go down by one. When the clock goes empty, that engine is destroyed. If three engines are destroyed, the ship is going to start to fall, and everyone inside is going to definitely die unless you try and save them. If four engines are destroyed, the whole ship is destroyed. And um, the, uh, I love that. Uh, this is gonna last eight. It's gonna last eight rounds, and uh, um, it's pretty much gonna be no end to the enemies, essentially. <laughs> so we might not finish the combat today. Damn. But there's gonna be a lot of fucking enemies, and there's gonna be uh, two per two enemies. It's, got, it's like the uh, that first mission you guys did when you went to mm -hmm. the fake mission for Leon. Yeah. Leon. 
Um, it's gonna be two enemies per round. That the I can't wait. Um, from the left and the right. Yes. yes Chokes yes. on you <laughs> So yeah, this. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of suckers. Uh, how the 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 stuff work is that the ground is endless essentially. You can go two spaces up and two spaces down. This ship right here is size three. You can hide behind it to obscure a line of sight. Uh, actually, it's size four. So, Buzo, you can hide behind it to obscure a line of sight, but you can also just kind of be anywhere, so you can shoot okay. over if you want to, too. Um, these things are also, we'll say they're also size four. They're just ships that are um, kind of hovering and shooting at the, uh, the ship and stuff. So, uh, they'll just act as uh, also size four cover. Um, and then again, yeah, baddies are coming from the right and the left. Any questions? No, nope. um, sounds good. I'm ready for the gauntlet. I'll. I think I'm gonna take a little bit left over here because I'm probably gonna go off on my own and start pushing people away with my pike. I'm gonna try and post up between engine one and two. Okay, I'm probably going to just get dead center and try to cover 20 spaces on either side of the map. So I should get two and three. So I feel like then that leaves the rest of them to move. I feel like it leaves Riho and, and Valari with a lot of room to do whatever they want. I like the formation we have right here. I, I want to be able to reach both sides with shields, and I think this is perfect. Mm -hmm. I have a I have a melee weapon now, so this will be a little bit better. Awesome. The crab claws perfect. back. I have a build specifically designed to help melee people fuck people up. This is great. I love it. I can, I can, we have multiple <laughs> melee guys on the team now. Sorry to steal some of your thunder, Clara, but I'm ready to do oh, some no. stabbing again. No thunder. no thunder. I'll only stab. You're gonna, you're gonna become a tag team champ with her. Oh my god. I'm always looking for my best tag teams. Oh boy, let's see. Hey Shaka, hey Shaka. You, you, you dropped know, you dropped in the long boy special, special MK1. MK1. Oh, did I? Did I need to get that one? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Clarice is, is wrong. Uh, long boy special MK2. And I and believe Clarice is wrong. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm and not, not sure if sure Alaris. Alaris. I think all of y'all. All of y'all. You are all good, all good at this game. game. Where did I put the, oh, maybe Where's the, the pop out? Can you not pop out the character sheet anymore? Or did I just forget where the button is? Right click it. Right click it. There you go. Anyway, I, uh, I, I got the right. I think I got the right. You're. You're. Oh. oh no. Yeah. I think Clara walked out. Of I think we both did that at the same time. Mm. Oh God. oh God! Oh, oh he's God. pulsating. Okay, oh, that's the overshield animation. Pulsating. Oh, that's the overshield. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just because I have myself selected. There you go. <laughs> no, that was overshield. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, there you go, Claire. Cool. Uh, let me put you all into a turn order. All right. Yeah. So baddies are gonna deploy on the start of the second round. You all have the first round to set up stuff as you see shots and fires and uh, artillery and, and whatnot kind of tagging the exterior of your, your ship and you guys are moving at alarming speeds. You get conned in by uh, the folks on Yanto C's ship and they ask you all politely but also kind of scared, uh, please help us get these fuckers away. We need to get Yanto C to the Caliphate of Pisha. Please help us. Don't worry, we'll cover you. Just keep flying. Uh, that's all we can do. Yeah, we'll do it. Um, so yeah, all right, who is going first? Oh god, am I uh, Elden am I Lord? Elden Lord? <laughs> <laughs> I think... Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> if you want to go first, Elden Lord, I mean, like, getting you go in a position it. determines a lot of our cover and other things. This is true. This is true. Okay, okay, so how so fast, how can, fast we can we move with these boosters, 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 or is it just normal movement speed? Normal movement speed. Again, you want to keep the people from starting to turn next to the engines. 
Also, there might be an NPC that can target the entrance. That's that's, that's fair. fair. Um, that is a that move is and a, a boost. And, boost. and hmm. hmm. I kind of want to throw down turrets. turrets. I think it's, I turret, think it's turret, time. turret time. Yeah, turret time. Do you have a turret? Oh, I lost them. Yes. yes. Oh. Oh. There you go. I got you. I got you. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yay. Yay. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will. Yes. Yes. Half size, right? Um, can you control that? Mm. Yes. yes. Sweet. Gabby, no. It's your sisters. I kind of want to put it over put it here, here for, for... old Akizva to, to abuse. And I think and that I is it. I don't want to overcharge quite yet. yet. I want to save, save that, that for emergencies. For emergencies. As you fly into the battle, and kind of park yourself, are you on top of the ship? Not yet. Not yet. I am still, still flying above it. Above it. Okay, I so will, I however, will warn, warn Oscar, Oscar that, that hey, you're you're, you're, you're getting a passenger. Getting a passenger. This, one this one is a one friend. Is friend. Oh, Oscar! Oscar, their ship is Oscar. Right. Right. The SOC ship that you guys are. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, as you fly over the ship, kind of boosting over. You see some residual, uh, like uh, maybe like two fighter um, forces of the uh, uh, GDK. They start firing on you. <laughs> Give me an agility uh, check. Fat crobatic, don't fail, don't me, fail now. me now. No, no. Ooh, you take. Yeah, um, I was gonna say three, three damage, but you have three armor, <laughs> so you're good. I'm sober I'm now. Sober now. <laughs> I lied, I lied before. before. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely sober, sober now. now. <laughs> As these ships fly through, and they start to kind of make a round and go around. And as your teammates activate, they're going to the best. So who's going next? I mean, I can bum rush in. The huge. Go for it. Go for it. I think, oh my god. My foundry is bugging. Uh-oh. What the fuck happened to my picture? It suddenly transformed. Oh no. Oh wow, you got glyphic. I think that means that the link broke. Into a basic ass mic. Yeah, but I, I keep using the. Uh... Yeah. Move and boost. I'm gonna hover up here uh, by engine four. Uh, what height are you? What you say you are? Um, um, up to, hmm. up to, up to you I would like to be at least one space, space above, above the, plane. the plane. Yes. yes. Then you're five. All right. And then the champ, what's, what height do you want to be at? Um, I want to be close enough. Let's say like two above the plane. Same thing. You see these ships kind of fly around and start to make their rounds towards you. Um, you can roll any kind of bullet, uh, any kind of check. Okay. We'll try agility. agility. Agility did not fail me. Ooh, agility. They come through and they kind of like one dodges you on the right, and one dodges you on the left, and they're trying to make their rounds again. What do you do? Uh, I just go full anime mode and start like, <laughs> pre like prepping the dodge, the jukes. Nice. You dodge in such a way that both of these ships miss you and they collide. <laughs> they start to uh, fall down to the ground. And nice. Um, Hilari and Heartbreak. Go ahead and fly in there, man. You're, you got this. All right. Rico is just going to move and boost. Uh, suddenly, oh, I transformed. 
I think it's going to continue to do that. Honestly. It's going to be like 7, 8. Let's fucking update the foundry. Guess I'm, I just want to be right behind Buso. So, 5. 5. 5. five. 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 Yeah. And then, uh, for my Alrighty. other quick action, I am going to... Wow. Sorry, what button was it? They, the, There used to be in the top right corner of the character sheet just a pop-out button where I could have it in a separate window. Uh, and that is gone now. Oh, shit, oh, it, shit is. it is. Uh, oh, it's hmm. gone, huh? Interesting. I don't know. That's annoying. Um, um, I don't know how to... It's fine. Um, what I would like to do is throw... Oh, I don't have any regular shields. You know what? I am going to put the Walk of Kings. Uh, assuming I'm in range. Let me check the range for both of them. On. Okay, I'm in range for both of them. I'm going to put the Walk of Kings yeah. on uh, the Champ, I guess. Okay. So, overshield, what's your half HP? 10? Ha ha. What? What's up? That's crazy. Oh, God. Oh, it's going to continue to do that. That is. You don't need to do this fight with me. I know I do. I don't Wow, yeah. armor piercing melee attacks. Oh. Um, um, you yeah. you can get you the can prototype, get the prototype token, token when you select the character, character sheet from specifically from within the actor that. list. Oh, okay. I, I did that. The Oh no, I see, 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 I Every time you do something, it says I lack the permission to update. The same. same. Just wanted to point that out in case that's something you should know yeah. about. I think it's because you have from. All right. As um, you move up to Buzo, and Buzo's going to the I'm dodging. Uh, you get two more, uh, two more ships that kind of fly under uh, Yantho's ship and make like a, a, a upward, upside down kind of maneuver. <clears throat> they look like they're targeting Engine Two. Um, you can give me a whole jelly system or engineering check to stop them from targeting. Um, uh, if I am preventing somebody from being shot, I'm gonna roll a. I'm gonna roll um, engineering to just throw up some of my shield on the engine. Ooh. Not any kind of particular thing Valid. that my mech can do, but just narratively, oh. <laughs> yes, this is the thing. Okay, take an accuracy. Take an accuracy because your whole thing is throwing cool. shields. Cool. All right, mech, engineering, <laughs> accuracy, go. Hey. Nice. Oh, very nice. Yes, the shots come in, and maybe a couple missiles. And as they about to, about, they're about to explode, what happens? Uh, suddenly, a blue shimmering shield appears. Uh, in, not even like around the engine, but it's like a, looks like a blue, a, a blue semi-translucent wall just appears in front of the missiles, and they explode far out of range of their target. Nice, nice. The backblast ends up uh, sending one of the ships astray, and they crash into Yanthos's ship, but it's got too much armor, and they just die. All right, heartbreak is moving in. Let's see. My speed is seven, so. Ooh. You're a quick little crab. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna post up right here in between. Is this gonna move me? No. Here we go. Uh, right in between engine uh, one and two. And I think my height is going to be zero since I'm so light. I'm just going to land on the plane. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm there. Uh, as I just fly forward and delicately land all of my crab legs on the wing of the plane in between the two engines. 
Um, I think my prepared action is gonna be to, um, I wanna scan. I wanna scan what's coming at us. That is the end of round one. <coughs> Start of round two. Baddies will appear in the form of. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's put a sniper. On oh the no! And two. Mutakas. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh wait, that's the other side. That's the other side. I've liked these like Mbutakas. Alright, we have a sniper top right. That's where yep. we need to look at. Alright, you all in last. They will be oh. first. Sniper has light systems attached to it. It is, I say, five in the air, as are the Mbutakas. And as they arrive in the battlefield, they look like they have something similar to what you all have. They arrive in the battlefield, they're going to take a shot at someone in range of their weapons. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Actually, Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. That. They're going to shoot engine... No! They're no! going to shoot engine three. And I'm not even going to roll. I'm not even going to roll for this. They're automatically going to shoot it. That's engine bullshit! Down by a tick of the sniper they're... Attack. Oh my god. It shoots it. And uh, then they're going to move four spaces. Snipers are the only NPC that can target the engines. They only have the weapon to do it. And they... That's another turn. Yes, sir. You wow, gotta go get him. I mean, I can't get close enough to hit it. Hey. I think that might be the vibe. You got the overshield now. You might as well use it. It's true. You could... Uh, Harper, do you want to use... Do you have range? Yeah, uh, no, I don't think I do. No. Mm. Wee! Move and boost. Oh, so, so your first move, Riho. Okay, first move. Oh, that's awesome. That's, uh, six, what's your yeah. Speed six. Okay. After your first move, the sniper uses moving target. They reload their sniper rifle. <sighs> Alrighty. Uh, okay. You can... okay. Now I'm on yeah, boost the rest of the way. All right. <clears throat> oh my god. Maybe, Maybe if I can figure out, figure out how Foundry works, works again. Okay. Um. Yep. Doing that, and then. Do do do. Um, Rico, if you can pull them in close, it's very good for uh, the shields that I set up on you. Reminding myself how combat works. Uh, uh, can I use my terminal and guess? Okay. okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Mm. You could have um, overcharged these two. I don't feel like I want to overcharge this soon. I don't know. Uh, um, I'm just gonna hit it with my sword. Uh, your sword is threat three. three. Threat three. Oh, yes. yes. It is a very is a long very katana. Long katana. Ah! That's so good. Please, yes. <laughs> Look at that oh, anime ass. Don't hurt me. <clears throat> <clears throat> Maybe it'll pay attention to me instead of the engines now. So you fly forward, and it's like the sniper's kind of flying back with equal speed, and you come down with your sword, kind of clean through some of the armor, you see pieces of armor fall off. It's, uh, it's barely up. Thank oh, fuck. That was a good, good hit. Good hit. Alrighty, Rio. 
What else you got? That's it. Alrighty. We're going to activate the Bataka. Oh, oh god, now I have to do the Batakas like that to you? I know, right? Seems like a lot of stuff reset when they did that big update. Yeah, I think it's when you add, when it has like new animations on stuff, it makes it like reset. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We'll cut this out. Maybe. I feel like we fuck around enough that they already know that, but we'll give them some love. Also, I am so I'm so happy for the booth Aka's like spear rifle design. I came up with it as a like. I wonder how it would it's work. So tight. And then it ended up being this. No, this makes total sense. You would collapse the gun parts down and then just stab them. It's a little Stargate. I like it. You know, that is a good point, and I never even thought of it that way. It really is just the. I feel like it's Stargate, but it has the it it has the courage to to go there with the whole design. Just do the whole thing. It's what if the, the what if uh, the start oh, SG1 program, program started, started building, building the Gual uh, staffs. staffs. Oh god, I wish. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, they had that they whole had episode, that episode where where they were like, like this, is this, is this is a weapon of terror. This is a this weapon, is a of, weapon war. of war. Oh god, I remember that. Weapon of terror and war. Yudaka's coming after you, Riho. Gonna move forward with four points, four faces, and then it's gonna shoot a spear rifle. And it sees it, he sees it, the, the flaps deploy and it, it raises it up, it aims down the sights. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's four damage. Okay. okay. Oh wait, you have overshield. That's. That's. Your overshield goes to six. And when she gets shot, uh, it looks like a bunch of static electricity all radiates all around her. Unfortunately, no one's in range to get hurt by it. In the first one. And then the Butaka will run forwards with a light path for him. Quick action, he's gonna go six spaces. <sighs> Alright, end of his turn. Who's next? Hmm. I mean, the I could possibly line up a good shot and. Yeah. If you want, if you want I, could move, I could move. Um, um I could move, I could move closer, closer. Maybe, maybe like, like up, to up to here, here. and then you and could then get you closer could get and closer fire my gun, gun off gun my off back. back. You guys could do that. <laughs> Either way, I if I get closer, <laughs> you can get closer, <laughs> which means that you get a bonus on attacking. I, you absolutely go first, my dude. All right. All right. I do better when my allies are close to enemies, right, so... Okay. I'm gonna scoot on scoot up, on here. up here. So that is so turn, turn one, or er, movement. movement. I am I birthing am more birthing turret more drones. drones. I'll, no, put I'll put one... one yeah, I'll put one over oh, here, so now here. both so now wings both have wings coverage have of bonus, bonus attacks. attacks. And... and... Hmm. <clears throat> I really want I really to, want but to, I also but am also sitting here like, like shit. shit. No one, no, one, no one's no close, one's close enough, enough for me to, like, like unload, unload, unload. Just the same the one, same the Umfakane's hand. hand. I just also, I just have, also the, have the the mod, the mod attached to it, and it's like it's, it's just like, one it's guy. guy. How does the ring of fire work up here? Mm -hmm. Um. No. Okay. <laughs> I won't. It explodes in an orb that just hovers in um, the air. Um, 
Yes. I mean, it could be a shockwave. God damn. Damn. Yeah, that last for like. Last yeah, a move I deployed. Fuck, Fuck it. I'm gonna it. boost, I'm gonna I guess. Boost, I'm yeah. still in the, still air. In the air. Okay. I'm, I'm, gonna, get I'm gonna get up over, over here. here. I'm probably not probably gonna not move gonna much move further, further up than, up this. than this. And that is my, and that turn. Is my turn. I'm already, I'm already for you to go, you nuts. go nuts. And you're at. We're going to then go inject with the other Mutaka. It is going to move and boost. So, four, eight. Right here. And then it's going to use its flight platform to move once more. Six bases. No! Start of its next turn, it's gonna cause gonna cause damage to the engine. All right, Valari, heartbreak. Um, Valari, you can go first if you want to, because I think I'm just gonna try and mess with the engine. What do you mean mess with the engine? Uh, well, I'll, I'll go on my turn. You go on ahead and get him. Okay. Um. Oh, I can't reach you. <laughs> Without and I. Uh, it requires me uh, to barrage to be able to fire your weapon, right? No. No. Nope. Uh, uh, interesting. And, and I currently have a thing have attached, to attached to it where, where, what is it, once per round, round unhit with this weapon, with this weapon uh, expend a charge, charge, your target your gains target resistance to your attack, attack, and you deal and two AP two damage, damage to three other characters within line, line of sight and nice. range. So I can't kill ever um, anyone, anyone, or everyone, or everyone but, I but I can hit two hit people two if you people. do that. Alright. Um, I think if I rush over here... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Sure, 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 sure. And I can do my Marathon Arcbow stuff later. So, this is my movement, right here. Um, and then That's I'm going to Skirmish, which allows me to move two spaces forward. Just get close hey. enough in range. Uh, and then I'm going to fire... Fakanda's hand, which I believe you should roll because I don't have a way to yep. roll it on from my end. Targeting this guy. Already. Oh, you will get the engine in the. Ah, uh, that's something that is a problem then. Um, Shit. Instead Shit. of though doing that, then. Wait, you could attack. Uh, I, I, think you I think you can attack the other one and then the, abolish the colonizers. the colonizers. We can, we can pop it off pop on, it him. on him. I don't think it'll don't kill, think him, kill him, but him. it'll hurt him. Uh, oh, or you can uh, yeah, just attack just with attack one of your, one weapons. your weapons. You being as you close being to me, close you get, to me, get two, accuracy. two accuracy. I get two accuracy just being close yeah. to you? You're right, You're one. Right. My, bad. My bad. I'm thinking of the core power. But yeah, you get yeah, one, you accuracy one accuracy just being adjacent to me. Uh, I have never seen these before. Uh, do they look heavily armored, these these guys? No, they look... They look Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're a piece of, they're shit. A piece of shit. shit. This, this one just one has just a jetpack and, jet and missiles. Okay. Alright. Considering that I can't use your weapon this turn, <coughs> instead... Well, you want to be in range two. You want to be in range yeah. two. Yeah. So I can't barrage. Damn it. Um, alright. Uh, so, in that case, I will just still skirmish um... Oh, well, first I'm going to lock on to this guy. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. You want to yes. know why? Yes! yes. Lock on. Make sure you target that guy. Uh, yep, I will. Uh, target that guy. And I'm going to fire a uh, Marathon Arcbow, uh, also catching uh, the Longboy special in the blast. Yes! yes. Flash ride. Let's see here. Does that have? Longboy special is not. Uh, I can aim from an adjacent space, can I not? <coughs> He's shooting He's through, shooting my, through legs. my legs. <laughs> you got the coil twisted up so you can shoot through it. Oh, oh right, I forgot. I'm a big I'm aerial, aerial meatball, meatball right, now. right now. Never mind. I don't know what the know fuck's, what going, fuck's on. going on. Alright, and I am gonna position myself to be try to be above it so I can benefit from my tactician talent to get an extra accuracy. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, 
We'll see if it's that ethical. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so, Marathon Arcbow, targeting that guy. Consume lock on, yes. Oops. Consume lock on, yes. Additional accuracy from my uh, yes. talent. And also, and also you, can you can roll, can roll twice, twice and choose either choose result. Either result. Incredible. Spotter, Spotter one. one. I love it. That's so many dice. Whoa. Look, at them Look at all them dice. Look at that, one, that damage. one damage. <laughs> <laughs> one damage. Yeah. One damage. Ah. I don't know, Butaka. Gross. You cannot harm me. All right. Uh, and um, um, the Longboy special gains two or shield. Dunzo. 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 Oh, and I don't know if it matters, but that was also armor piercing. Uh, okay, not that. Um, so that is uh, my turn. Mm. All right. So here's the question, and I'll I'll radio into Yancey's oh, oh, ship shit. and ask. Um, if I can clear some heat off of some of your engines, do you think you could try and make repairs to the ones that it's damaged? Um, that would risk lives to go out there and make repairs. So I swear to God, if these people don't get some drones! Shaka, 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 speaking, Shaka speaking of drones, of drones can, can I, can I say before we get before too, we get much, too further? much further? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Okay. yes. yes. Uh, three damage will destroy. Holy shit! Really? Really? Okay, they but are not as thick as I thought they would be. D six, and no other butaka comes. Yes. Out. yes. Whew. 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 Which okay. one is that? The pla Oh, that one. All right. Yep. Okay. Um. Let me double check one more thing. Two, two, two. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to move seven. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to scuttle across the plane seven, and then I am going to... My sensors have to be great, right? Yeah, my sensors are 15. This guy's within sensors, so I'm going to lock on to him with my first quick action, and then my second quick action, I am going to fire off my pair of adhesive chaff missiles uh, at this guy, because he is within 15 of me now. Let me just double check. Yep, yeah, he's within 14, so this is gonna be done. So I'm gonna pop that lock on for this first attack. Uh, consume lock on to set. Pew, pew. pew pew. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm also going to hit him with a uh, storm bending and knock him back three. Yep. Uh, nope, it's just lightning effect. Um, oh, yeah, it's a hull save. Sorry. Yeah, my bad. Oh, okay. Oof. Oof. <coughs> yeah, that does beat my save, so he's not knocked back. Okay, but he is, but he is knocked prone from that? Seismic Deluge. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, wow, that's right. They are immune to prone flying. Okay, well, then uh, I'll fire my second missile. Ha, <laughs> ha. Uh, from the mount. Get him. There's no lock on on this one. Don't need it, baby. So yeah, that's two heat, two kinetic, and two burn. That's a death of Butaka. And we're gonna roll a d6. And another Butaka shows up at the start of my baddies. Oh, well, there's no baddies, so... Um, I'm gonna probably think about that. But anyways, uh, no one's gonna show up. Bum, All right, bum, yep, bum, perfect. Bum, that bum. is, uh, oh, wait, skirmisher for the end of my turn. I'm going to move back to. <laughs> Boom. All righty. Yeah. Boom. Yep, that's the end of Heartbreak's turn. All right. 
Thaka that shows up. The one reinforcement that you took down. It's going to move forward and fly. Uh, moving and then boosting. Get right about. It's actually move and then flight platform and move in 10 spaces. It's 13 shots. Alright, it's going to move and boost right here. And then it will use its dummy missiles. Can't reach you both, you dun, dun, dun. Please don't kill, Please my, don't turret. kill my turret. I like my I turret. Like my turret. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. doesn't have the weapons to damage the engine. So... Okay, let's change that boost. I can move up two more spaces so I can actually target someone. Oh, but I forgot these are not shit. Whatever. Uh, it's gonna attack you with a spear rifle. Nope. Nope. That oh, misses. Well, I have one year armor now. All right. Oh damn it! It should have started his turn. Oh well. Um, that Butaka wasn't thinking. That's why he pilots, That's why he pilots a Butaka. Butaka. Um, and that is the end. <laughs> <laughs> that is the end of round two. Start of round three. More baddies show up in the form of Kudu. Show up. We're going to bring in two. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yes, we're going to do all fucks. Yeah, see what's up here. Yeah, I'm going to show up on the looking at left. Yep. Yep. Spooky, Spooky little, little hornets. hornets. <clears throat> Alright. I went last. You got the These damn hornets. I could probably take each of mine close to down. But if you want to throw another turret my way, that wouldn't be bad. Mm, I could. And then I'll be, then I'll be, I'll be out, I'll out for the rest of the, the, rest of the mission. mission. Oh, that yeah, should... Okay. should that should, that be, should okay. be okay. I've, I've I very, very rarely, rarely use turrets, turrets, and when I do, when I it's, do usually it's usually for missions. No, save really save the one. I think I think we're okay on that one. Okay. Okay. Worst comes to worst, worst, I can worst, scoot, I can it, scoot over. it over. Yeah. That's oh yeah, that'll should, be fine. Should we take out the sniper before he gets a chance to act again, though? Absolutely, do it. I yep. <laughs> Bingo. Go get him. Get him, Riho. We just assumed we just that you were killing him. <laughs> I would, I would have fled immediately. It was just a matter of when. <laughs> Crush him. Crush him. Yeah, eat him up. Yeah, we're we're gonna just thermoangus him. <laughs> no kill like no overkill. Kill like overkill. Please, don't Please don't miss. Don't miss. <laughs> Please do not miss. Dear God, don't miss. Wait, wait. You can't tell me to wait after I rolled. Oh my god. <laughs> That's max it's, damage. Uh, it doesn't really matter anyways because... Yeah, it doesn't matter anyways. Because <clears throat> the sniper reloads his shot, he's trying to like find a, a, a shot through the, the, the gaps in your uh, Tamarungus. It finds its shot on the, on, the, um, on, the, um, on the generator, and as soon as it does that, what happens? It just comes out. Please hold, rolling my... <laughs> Every time you use this, I'm just imagining you just reaching out and just squeezing. <laughs> Did, wait, was there some kind of like electroshock, some shit, because of my overshield? Uh, if you take damage, a shock no, of yeah. electricity. Yeah, it's AP is just, what it is. Just for for flavor's purpose, can we just say because this name generator just told me it's Lily Shock. That is what my hey, attack is called. Do it. Exactly. <laughs> so, I'm basically going to reach out across this gap between me and the sniper and just fucking squeeze with my fist and scream Lily Shock while, like, uh, just like little um, flashes of lightning sort of like pop out. <laughs> if you smash him on your own body, he will get shot. Ooh! <laughs> 
aggressively hug him. <laughs> you, you see a, you see as you're flying in the air, you see an extremely tall mountain that you can just drop the helicopter <laughs> on, and as you're like, <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. Uh, yeah, and no, then I can still move. Oh, they don't, they don't even make wrecks. They just, they just die. Yep. Like, the yep. wrecks get blown away, so. And then there's my move. And beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. Moving. Alrighty. Um, let us activate Old Buthaka right here. It's gonna move over to his engine. It's gonna use his dummy missiles. It's first going to invade. I'm, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Invaded. Right Ow. Uh, 17. Take two heat. You... And you're in pale. Yes. It's fine. Alrighty. And then, use dummy missiles. And the both of you. I need agility saves. Oof. And he launches the missiles from his back. <laughs> Zoom! Zoom! Ah, that's a failure! Take five damage. Uh, Sorry, I was just configuring it. There we go. Gross. Ah, that's a failure! Hey, Shaka. Ow. Reaction, Reaction boost. boost. These are, that's not it's an attack. It's not an attack. What do you mean it's not an attack? I hate you. I hate you. Uh, uh, reaction to your position. <sighs> okay, okay, I guess. I guess. Man. Man. Sorry, how much damage was it again? Five. Five damage. And that is it for the Butaka's turn. <sighs> if you want me to fire off another pair of missiles at these guys, I can see if I can take mine out. Do what you must. All right, yeah. Mm. I'm gonna if, leap I, into, if, I if I moved more to the, more left, to the, so the left so that you could so fire, fire off, me, off to me to get accuracy, accuracy would, that help? would that help? I mean, yeah, it would definitely help. Um, but yeah, I'm going to move seven over there and I am going to skirmish and actually, you know what? I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to quick action. Um, and fire my Akemba at the first one down here. Uh, yep. Uh, um, it's 10, yeah. I think I'm within 10 of this guy, yeah. Just barely. All right. So Akemba is firing. Oh, oh, oh. God, it's a hit. oh. Crappy damage, <laughs> but yeah, I crit him. That's the moon. That is very painful on a hornet. And now you have an axe to attack until everyone has an axe. And then, uh, yeah, I am going to... I'm going to overcharge and see... Can I hit the other one you with know, my Akemba? I would like no, to, I can't. I would like to deal like three, to do damage three damage against that against hornet that, that you just shot, just shot because you're within you're ten, ten spaces of me. Spaces of me. Oh, Did that work? Pop them! Pop em. Yes, that's, that's still ah, a um, the uh, then, yeah, okay, I will fire my first adhesive shaft missile at, uh, at that guy. Are you, are you uh, no, this is just a, my, this is my second skirt. Yeah, this is a barrage. So the second mount in the barrage. It's a nine. Oh, no. Okay, that's what, yeah, I thought I, there we go. Um, let's try the second missile, and I still have an accuracy. Hey. hey. Uh, ooh. Two damage is enough to kill this hornet as it goes down. Whew. Fire uh, yeah. Hornet goes um. bye bye. And Kimbo's, I mean, your, and Kimba and your hornet and your, and your, uh, he's a chat missiles. Just clog its wings up and it just. Oh, man. All right, yeah, I'll hold here. All right, very nice. 
nice. Yeah, very nice. Wow, I only have a hornet left. Um, so we shall activate this hornet, and it is going to move and boost. 13 spaces. Wait, it, uh, 12 spaces, actually. Let's go right away. <laughs> Seeing that thing move close and then everybody start drawing lines to it is so fun. <laughs> it's like the Simpsons meme, he's in danger. Uh, he really he is. Really is. <laughs> That's a lewd. That hits. Ooh, Hornet, let me take that. Uh, take three heat and you're jammed. Oh boy. I think that's gonna I think that's gonna reactor me. Uh no, it puts you at uh, eight. Okay. You're you're <sighs> oh, you're oh, toasty. You're toasty. Look, at that Look at that glow. That is the end of the hornet's turn. We got the one. Um, I could move closer, could move and closer then you could then wombo you could combo, combo off me, because I, I, I'm i afraid that if afraid I shoot, I'll, I'll shoot, accidentally, I'll accidentally sink the plane. Sink the plane. <laughs> uh, do what what you must, my good friend. I am probably just going to arc bow him just to get some health back. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll... Um... I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay. okay, I'm going to move. <laughs> I'm going to move and boost. Move and boost. And do the snake, do the snake shuffle, shuffle over to here. Over to here. Okay. Okay. I want to check if something is a full action or a quick action. Ho ho ho. Valar. Valar. Valari, Valari, do you, do you do think that you Shaka, think Shaka is going to bully, bully us and send, and send some, bullshit some bullshit out next? Out next? <laughs> yes. I mean, yes. Yes, I think that. I'm going to activate, I'm gonna activate this. this. Ooh. This is just a burst three dome license to you, so you become a mobilization. It, it's within it's three. three. Valari, Valari, enter Thunderdome and take it out. <laughs> Um, uh, one more. One more. One, two. Yeah. It's Thunderdome, bitch. Actually, I think Actually, technically, I think it, would technically it would be even, even more, more, but I have no I idea how idea hexes, how hexes work. work. That that looks that about, looks right. about Either right. Either way, it's, Either huge. Way, it's Welcome huge. Welcome to Thunderdome. To Thunderdome. That's my turn. That's my turn. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's go, Buzo. Valar, this is your turn. Alright. So now we have two bad guys next to the things. Two? Two. But this one and this one. I completely, I completely forgot, forgot about that about Buthaka. Buthaka. I'm, a bad, I'm a bad I'm a bad man. man. Alright, we're gonna have to rely on the champ to get there first and take the I believe out. in her. <laughs> but they're weak. They are weak. Um Rico is gonna fly over here and try to line up a shot to try to hit all three of these targets with the Marathon Arc Bow. Big brain Big plays. plays. Right through here. Ooh. So it's just gonna replace Boozo's Elvisher Bow, right? Um, yes. Oh. Boozo didn't have Elvisher Bow. I was hit last, was hit turn. last turn. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um. Do I wanna, what else do I wanna do besides that build on my turn? You know what? I don't think I will actually um, just do that. I'm gonna actually barrage him just because I want to put the damage out as much as possible. 
just to take him out. Yeah, barraging the Hornet, just to make sure that I do as much damage as possible. The first thing I'm going to do is fire my Bolt Nexus, which I haven't used in a very long time, and I've kind of been wanting to use it. Um, so I'm going to have, I'm going to use my uh, Tactician 1 accuracy on this. Uh, right. Tactician. First attack with the Bolt Nexus. I am impaired. So, you know, uh, that sucks. But I'm canceling that out. Make sure, target. Make, sure target. Make sure I'm targeting it. There we go. Um, and... Lunch, good books. That's about all I can do. Go. Whoa. Ooh, ooh, I thought they had higher agility than that. Awesome. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Because it's a because smart it's a weapon. Smart weapon. Oh. Hilarious. Get, get fucked. Uh, get him. Welcome to Thunderdome. <laughs> Hell yes. All right, so that, that just does one damage, but I now have it target acquired the next time I want to use it. Um, so next turn, I can just delete it for free. Um... And then I'm firing the Marathon Arc Bow. This one is not going to have accuracy. But. Okay. That's not the most important part of it. Hornet Exterminator. Uh, that one misses. Uh, it's a miss. All right. But. Mm -hmm. Heartbreak, two overshoot. Heartbreak and Buso get two overshoot. I like that. I like the sound of that. Got it. Thanks. I like your I like outrun your glow. Is that it, Valari? Um, yep, that is my turn. Alrighty. That is the end of round three. Starts in round four. Oh, yeah. Bad person shows up. A real no, bad no. person. Um, is one of those things on the plane? Let's make them. Uh, yeah, two of them are. The Hornet oh, and God, the I'm Hornet. A... Yeah, we were saying last turn, we're going to have to just we're let the champ try to get that Bukaka quickly. We're fine, it has we're four fine, engines. Four engines. <laughs> we're going to bring these. <laughs> True. You all see three bastards. It's too many bastards. Show up. At the top. Oh, good. And it's Colonel Greer in a phantom. And uh, they are with two sentinel guards. And they come into your mechs and say, You stand there, stand before the GDK. You murderers of all those at Yakto's Dagger, I will do Tiano a favor and end your lives. We don't need any more evidence for your war crimes, Tribunal. Shut up and fight. War crimes? Uh, all right, then. I'll put my spear through your stomach. Step, 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 into, step Thunderdome. into Thunderdome. I don't, I don't ever do this, but I uh, am going to try and call dibs. <laughs> 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 Come into Thunderdome. Thunderdome. Colonel Greer. Colonel Greer is a elite veteran, and they are guarded by two Sentinels. So they have two turns. Mm. They got some bullshit. All right. Love it. All righty. Um, let me activate them in the turn order, and then you all went last, so the bad is first. Mutaka will go. The engine gets fucked up. Oh, gross. One thing. And then this Luthaka will move four spaces here. It got its uh, dummy muscles back, and it's going to target this space. And I apply them no longer. Uh, okay, <sighs> okay, yeah, it's just going to. Uh, uh, Bucky, give me a few seconds. Oh, okay. I don't, like I don't like this. Oh. That's a failure. Take five damage. So again, so I, again I, I. That's also a success. I literally I lose literally nothing. Whew. <laughs> okay. It, uh, it goes back. It boosts back. It just needs to be injured. And that's it. Um, if you want to hit that guy with your smart weapon again, Valari, that might help. 
because you've got the best chance of hitting him. This is true. I hit him automatically no matter what. That's the cool thing about the Bolt Nexus. It just automatically does for Yeah, I think you should take that I Hornet decide. out, because we can't afford to let it mm -hmm. go again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to do... I mean, it does if four damage. Exactly. Every time. Yeah, but don't so, forget, you've got the turret there, too. This is true. true. I could barrage Wait, him wait, if absolutely it, necessary. Yeah, yeah, I haven't yeah, taken I my haven't turn taken yet. My Never turn. mind, I don't have the reaction yeah. back. No, you, you have, you have, you, you have. You did take a turn. You have, you have, you have, you have, you have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Go ahead, murder Go ahead, it. Murder it. <laughs> All right. In order to do enough damage to kill it, I think I'm going to have to barrage again. But there we go. If, even if you did even just you kill did it with one hit, one the Buthaka is still, Buthaka there, is still so there, so barraging, barraging seems like a good plan. Like plan. Alright, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, fire the Bolt Nexus at it, so in hit or miss, it has reliable four. So, uh, okay. it just does four uh, damage. <laughs> Alright, it's still up. All right. My damage. little uh, cloud of flare drones flies at it and just lock on and just start chewing through some of the armor. Um, and seeing that that is not enough to finish it off. Turret drone. Turret drone. I am going to... Oh, turret drone first. Oh. Death. Hey. Oh, Woo! It is destroyed. Oh, damn. I, take mm. I can't... Goes, I did... Slowly. I said I was going to barrage. Do yes. I... See, seeing that the first hit worked, do I still have to do the other attack? I'm not going to make you do it. Okay. In that case... I would like to just move over here, get close to Buso, and lock on, because my friend called Dips. Well, there's still like, yeah, the there's still a guy over there. Yeah, um, you know what, just to make it so that, uh, I am going to finish off with the, um, the barrage, just because I want to make sure that uh, there's enough damage on it so that uh, the champ can kill it. Uh, and who knows, maybe I'll kill it. Don't shoot. Don't do the, don't do the line attack. Be... Oh, I have to worry about that? Well, that's the only attack I have. <laughs> Alright. You can save one engine. You can, one engine. <laughs> I'm not gonna do the damage to it myself. Wait, isn't, um, isn't the arc boat, isn't that the thing that, like, reinforces like, stuff? Shouldn't it protect, shouldn't the, protect the, engine? the engine? Oh, It doesn't right. harm allies. You know what? Okay. Okay, okay, All right. okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay. Rico quickly turns to the side and types in uh, some complicated math stuff uh, to <laughs> register the engine as an ally in its system so that the laser cannon doesn't disintegrate it and then is going to fire the marathon arc bow at Thaka. This time I am going to use, this is going to be using the um, tactician attack uh, accuracy stuff. We yep. all love you got this. <laughs> Incredible. Um, okay. I'm accurate. And... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's a hit. Why is it a hit? Why is that a hit? Oh, it's a good I forgot. <laughs> I thought it was a hornet. Three damage? That's nasty. Uh, it goes down to a bad note. And... The engine is preserved. All right, and then I'm um, just gonna move um, a little bit. Do you want me to you finish it off? But we'll lose all of the reactions, all the reactions on turrets. On turrets. On... Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna get close enough this turn for a turret to get them. Fuck it, pew pew. The right one takes them out. <laughs> all righty, right one takes. <laughs> you madman! You put guns on a plane. No one's ever thought of that before. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh no! We thought could die. Cool. Uh, I was hoping to not have to barrage, but uh, this means that the champ doesn't have to use her turn killing this little baby dude. She can focus on the hard people. Yeah. Yeah, you can go over there and get them. The sentinels need some cracking. I can't do. I can't do everybody by myself. Okay. Being said, I've been saving overcharge for this moment. That's fair. That's yeah. Just for a future reference, uh, would you like to have some resistance to heat and the ability to clear heat if you take some damage? Um, Akizva, because you're pretty spicy. I'm thinking I'm, like I'm thinking I might, I might end up popping my core on this guy just because I 
I have to. All right. Very nice. All righty. Colonel Greer is going to activate first turn. And I don't know how to use these fuckers. <laughs> Mood. So I'm going to use phase generator. And it shifts out of space. They cannot interact with the target. Or they can get it. Or they can still be targeted target by tech techs. They can also move through obstruction. Blah, blah, blah. The phantom may end its effect as a protocol. The phantom will defeat this system is safe. Next turn, bad things happen. So it's going to move. Uh, you dare. dare. And, it's, and it's going to boost six spaces here. Welcome to my house. Welcome to my house. Try me, bitch. I don't think I can do anything that's left in there. Can I interact or target any other object or connect with the internet? Interacting with or targeting. Uh, so, so I can still be tech attack, but nothing else can happen. Okay. okay. Uh, that is in the Colonel Greer's first turn. Well. 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 I believe it's the Chap's turn. Yeah. yeah. Um. Meow. Yeah. Yeah. That'll get me moving a boost. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh. Should I move back six? Okay. Oh shit, once per round after you boost, you can lock onto a house of character within threat one of your melee weapons. You can lock on one of these six. Ooh, Ooh sick. Uh, I want to lock on to the one that I have targeted. Um, okay. uh, it He's going to have a bad day. And then that was moving a boost, so we'll just sort him in the face. Hit <laughs> <laughs> him. Attack. Look at That's all them rough. dice. That's a few dice. Hey. <laughs> and it's armor piercing because of the shield she has. Is it still? I thought it was. Was it the first turn? As, as long as the shield is still up. Oh, wow. Yep. And I still have six on my overshield. Amazing. Amazing. Nuts. Oof. Uh, that's, that's some serious damage. And they're hurt. Good. Good. <laughs> what else you got, champ? So I don't know. And we should, because I could like overcharge and like grapple or something like that, but I don't know if that's helpful. I feel like I you feel are like such you a are frightening such person up person there that those, that those both of the sentinels are probably going to close in and be in grappling range, range at the start, start of your next turn. next turn. Unless Shaka has, has some big has brain some move that we're missing. That we're missing. I can't wait to oh, see how your sentinels see fuck like, off to the other end of the map. I feel like I've drawn their uh, their attention well enough. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, that, that's it. I'll, I'll be good for now. Okay, We're going to activate the sentinel to the left. They're going to target the sentinel to the oh? right oh? as their ward. Bring it. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. My worst, <laughs> my worst enemy tech attacks. Oh, you're. Oh, you're. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, 
That hand of that yours hand is of glowing yours red. Is glowing red. <laughs> hand is glowing. And it's going to target you now with a Kumbux Shukun. Nope. Nope. Yes. Oh, yes. Goodness. How is that possible? All right. Um, it's, it's gonna stay right there. And it's not gonna be the most. All right, Harpoid Boozer. I mean, Buzo, you're right there. I'm just gonna hack him. I. That's all I, that's I really all can, I do, as can well. do as well. You're jammed. You're jammed. You can't hack. Oh. Wow. Th wow. Then yeah, let me let me get a piece of this guy. C step into step my house. Into my all, right. all right. Yeah. Well, you, can, you can't use you can't use any weapons. Or anything when you're jammed. Well then, I'm I'm gonna. Could stabilize, clear jams, and you could overcharge to use an attack. If that's what you want to do. If you, yeah, if you stabilize, you could clear your feet, clear jams, overcharge. There you are, Nico. I think you could still move still and move do, that. do that. I just know that just you're know holding that onto you're that, holding that, that heat for that pain. pain. I'm I'm holding on to that heat for pain, yeah, so it's up to you. I was just gonna flail just like a flying like meatball, a flying meatball and, and invade him and for a meager two, two heat. He's gonna take another turn though. That's a good point. A good point. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get up there. Yeah. I'm gonna move I'm gonna move up seven, scuttling across the the hull of the plane, and I am going to target him with. Um, well, oh, I have to stabilize. Yeah, yeah. I'm still jammed. Oh wow. You can't use weapons or tech attacks. Oh, we're both jammed. Okay. No, I think he was <laughs> only talking to you. Jammed. You're jammed. You're just the jam. Mm, uh, yeah, I had no idea that that happened. Um, okay, let's. Uh, I'll stabilize then and clear my heat and clear jammed. Alrighty, stabilizing, clearing heat, clearing Yep. Oh, I I was jammed. Oh no, you can stay. Oh, you can still overcharge. Yeah. Move. Um. What's his range? Okay. Oh, he's his range is right there. Yeah, I'm gonna um. I'll overcharge and I'll tech attack him. Alrighty. Yep. Let me make sure he's targeted. And because he's a veteran, he has hardened target. Veteran gains one action on system saves and tech attacks against. Man. Okay, so add the difficulty on that. I bet I'm still gonna hit him. No. Oh, an eight. Ooh, can't be stopped. All right, then I am going to hit him with jam cockpit. Is what it is, and I'll just put that in the chat so you can see it. Um, Like I said, you're coming with us. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Thunderdome, bitch. I don't need to escape. Uh, even after overcharge. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I'll move up here. I don't want to move too far up that way. But yeah, boom. That goes. It's probably gonna Second be bad for turn. me. They're gonna, yes, it's okay. What's gonna happen? They're gonna deactivate their phase generator, and now their phase blade is charged. Okay, and then it will. Lock on to Valare. Hate this. Yes, lock on to Valare. And then it's going to attack Valare with the phase blade. Oh, God. Uh, 
Yakuza, what happened with your shield? No, because no, you're because inside you're Thunderdome. Inside Thunderdome. It prevents you people from interfering, people not interfere. people from people fighting inside, fight inside it. it. That is 10 damage. Oof. I'm, I'm sorry, why is it 10? <laughs> because I... I because uh, the phantom charged, it phased into reality. Oh, oh yeah. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I was only looking at the four. All right, so 10 damage total. Uh, so that means I lose my overshield and my actual mech takes three damage. Oof, that's bad. That's bad. Which I now, yeah. I now actually have HP, so that's fine. So I go down to zero overshield and three HP. I'm fine. Because a phase ripper. On successful hit with a charged phase blade, the target is teleported three spaces in the direction the phantom is choosing. If that space is occupied by another character, they both must pass an engineering save or a failure. So you're going to get teleported to the same space as Guzo. And I need engineering saves from both of you. Okay. Save is 10. <laughs> Gotta be 10. Give me a big number! Give me a big number. That's not yeah, a big number! Not a big number! Ooh! Oh, shredded. Ooh, shredded. Oh boy. Shredded. Okay. I didn't need that armor. And are, do, do we remain in the same space as each other, or does one of us get shunted in a direction? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah. You, I put you. I put you to the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the nearest for you. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Um, and I believe Colonel Blair will then move six spaces to engine break. Good. <laughs> I would love to, would react, love to, to you. react to you. Get him. Because Get him. you're yes. currently... I, I just remember to have a thing. You're currently, you're currently uh, in, existence. in existence. So I'm going so to headbutt, him, gonna to headbutt him to death. Hwabam. 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 Hey. A, Ooh. a solid a maximum, maximum amount of amount damage, damage I could have rolled. Could've Nice. And Ooh, I am going nice to use six, uh, flank from my, my the flank reaction okay. from Tactician Three. When an enemy is hit that does not have cover from me, I get a free shot, and I'm going to fire the marathon arc bow. You aren't leaving you aren't Thunderdome leaving alive. once per turn so I can use And it you also. get plus one accuracy, plus one accuracy, on, accuracy this. on this. That is true. Not that you need, Not it. That you right. need it. One is a hit for three to one. Might as well just roll the d6 just in case. Oh, geez. It's a 20, so that's a crit. So I need another d6. See if it's higher than three. Go with three. Go with okay, three. three damage is a fine. Um, three damage on Colonel Greer. Mm -hmm. But uh, Buso, you gain two overshield, and I get two of my overshield back. Every little Every bit little counts. Bit counts. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, we shall see here. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Colonel Greer is shot by you guys' attacks and his phase technology kind of flickers on the map. the Simpson to the north. It is going to. Lock him on to the champ. No. Of course. No, 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 no. Uh, yes, 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 yes. It's gonna lock him. Get him. And then it's gonna shoot the champ with the combo shot. I wish they were adjacent. Get blasted champ. Get ready to get blasted champ. You're gonna get hit by my combo. It's not gonna hit. <laughs> Okay. Oh. You can't oh, say can't things say like things that, Akiza, like because like then you make it happen. Oh, <laughs> uh, your overshield. Your overshield is. Uh, it's gone. gone. Okay. Actually, you have you have one armor, so you still have one overshield. Hey, that still counts. A blast of electricity radiates ar around you as well. Unfortunately, yes. it only works on people who are directly next to you, so nothing happens. This sentinel is gonna attempt to move. There you go. You can react. I'm gonna slice it. Okay. Give him a good shot. He's acting all He's coy acting all because coy if you attack it, the other sentinel will attack you. 
Oh, yeah. You've got a lot of HP, though, so you'll be fine. Yeah, because I. Yeah, this is fine. Ooh! Sweet baby Jesus. Uh, that's death, Don Lessentinel. He did. He died. And this Sentinel will attack you because you attacked his friend. How dare you take out my friend, you rat bastard! As our friend goes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The. The. Oh, that's uh, six damage. Well, five. Five damage. Uh, actually, it's gonna be... Five. Four. Four, you're... Go to 16. Yeah, go to 16. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. And... Uh, that was the end of their turn. Buzo, it is now your turn. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, this guy this is guy definitely, is definitely not, ranged. not ranged. And the and Sentinels, the are, sentinels handled. are handled. Oh, hey, uh, Trey, uh, uh, Shaka, I want to uh, clarify something. My uh, Tactician Overlapping Fire Flank Reaction does half damage on hit. So, technically, it would have taken uh, half nice. of that damage, which was half of three. Good for you. Good on you being, being good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> grazie, grazie. I am, I am, I am not I am sure not what to sure do. What to do. He's gonna pop that engine. I could, well, I could, I'm, immobilized I'm immobilized right, right now, now, and I can't, I can't fire, fire without, without. If I fire if my I fire ranged my weapon, range I'm gonna hit the, engine. hit the engine. Unless I Unless aim, I next, aim to next to him. Next to him. Yeah, and that yeah, still won't be still enough won't to kill him or structure, structure him. him. I'm in a weird, in a spot. weird spot. <laughs> and I, and I, I'm, immobilized. I'm immobilized. What other weapons do you have? That's just the Enclave just shield. The shield. Oh, you have the shield? You have the self... You have the self I could. I could. Uh, uh, Valari, do, do you want one? I cannot gain overshield. It's not overshield, it's, not over it's shield, armor. It's armor. Oh. That's there are special that's shields. fun. Yeah, there's, there's special shields. I could use it. I mean I have like five HP right now. <laughs> I, I feel pretty, I, good, I feel about pretty good, about good about that. I'm gonna give I'm him, gonna give one, him of my shields, one of my shields. Pop one off pop for him off and, for and him. lose an armor. Lose an you, take, you take two heat. Um do, 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 do. You can put it up the four shield within the center. Do, 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 do. Yes. Uh, so, Valar, you become slowed um, if you have one of these attached to it. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, um, actually, I just realized I, just I could realized deploy, another, I could deploy one. another one. Heartbreak, do you want one? Do you want one? Get some. Yes, please. Okay. okay. Heartbreak, Heartbreak will get one too. One I'll too. live my I'll life live. with one armor. We're back to the Saga Martha days. But that does mean you're slowed, though. Does that mean you're not going to be able to catch him? Huh? I guess he's fine. Yeah, you know, I was just saying he's going to be slowed, but you got guns. Yeah, I've got guns. He's got range. I feel yeah. like we're in a good spot. And Clara is a whirling dervish up there, so I feel good about this. But I think I think that's all I can do because I'm immobilized and I don't really have anything else. And I want to save my other turret. You can invade, invade, and lock on. I forgot about that. Computers. Yep. I'm going to hit him with that computer. <laughs> Uh, Colonel Greer, has, you have one difficulty on Colonel Greer. Mm -hmm. That's fine by me. And then Valari and Harper, you also have uh, soft cover. Ooh, yeah, soft it. cover. Cool. Invade! Fuck me! Nope. Tis a miss. I don't know how to computer. Okay, that's my turn now. And I'm no longer shredded, I'm no longer immobilized, and the shield is gone. That is the end of round four. 
How are you guys looking on time? This might actually be a good place to stop. So we can we have I think more rounds here. I'm I'm in an okay place to stop if you guys are. That's fine by me. I feel like we're doing an okay. We're just yeah, in we're a doing... weird we're in a weird spot of like we have too many line weapons and AoE attacks to be like hyper aggressive. Yeah. You guys are doing okay. Um uh at the start I'm just gonna show you guys what's gonna happen. Start of the uh the fifth round, two Bukaka show up and a flight platform. Oh, oh no. All right. Okay. And uh, yeah, we'll end it right there and pick up when we play. Next. Absolutely. You guys are doing actually really good. Yeah, I believe in us. Really All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs>